Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 24 of the Band of Bravos. I hope you are all ready for a spooktacular Halloween episode of the Band of Bravos. Uh, I don't know if it's actually going to be any different than a normal episode. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I mean, but, it's uh, always scary aw, every time we play. It's always a little scary. Because yeah. um, we're all in costumes. Be mainly because of the dice rolling. Uh, <laughs> No, we're going to have a good time here today, uh, everybody. But before we get started, as always, I want to toss it around the horn and let everybody introduce themselves and their characters. We're going to start with you, James. Yay, I'm James Jacobs. I'm Paizo's uh, creative director for Pathfinder. Um, I play Shenson, and I'm trying to get over the hurtful, hurtful words that Peyton just inflicted upon me. Yeah, I said that, uh, it's like, I said, hey, James, do you know that dinosaurs can't pick up trash cans? And he's like, yeah, because trash cans weren't invented since forever and ever ago. I'm like, yeah, that's right. How does that make you feel? They can't do it ever. <laughs> I don't know. I'm only a few levels away from being able to turn into a dinosaur. And I'm going to prove you wrong. <gasps> oh, I'm going to make a trash can in preparation for that glorious event. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys, I'm Marissa Marie. I uh, <laughs> can't talk today. <laughs> I'm Paizo's web content manager, and I play Ilana Thistlefoot, the halfling druid. Hi, folks. I'm Jason Keeley, Starfinder developer. I'm playing Rourke Thunderbird, the Tengu Swashbuckler. And I will make this a spooky episode by somehow figuring out a way from, for Rourke to say, Nevermore. Oh, <gasps> yes. Oh, Thank you. Wait for it. <laughs> Forever. And I'll wrap in a tap at a chamber door because I am Lorne Bond, wizard extraordinaire. And I am the social media producer here at Paizo. And I hope uh, everyone's been having a great time. Um, if you're here on Twitch or listening to us on Podcast Farm, we always like to stream this on Twitch at 2 p.m. PDT on Fridays. And one of the things you do here is that we allow chat to give us hero points, in which chat has currently been given us hero points. Thank you so much for that. And so everyone knows I have the like I have a button here. I have to do it manually. It's not like automatic or something. So just do give me a moment for me to figure it out. Like the villain point, Mr. Jason just got. Now what those villain points Ray. mean? Jason Bowman, <laughs> who's our game master today, unfortunately, uh, he basically right sees <laughs> and you, you shush you that basically he gets villain points. So it's it's to balance out all the hero points that you guys in chat can give to us, which you can give those those points via the channel point system that twitch has basically below the uh the twitch chat here if you're on desktop at least uh, i don't remember how it is on mobile um as you watch pines streams you will basically uh, gather up those points and and then once you get enough points you can then specify who you want to give a hero point to but because of how many we get from you guys obviously we're going to be able to re-roll a whole bunch of dice so to balance out the field Mr. Bowman here, who constantly tries to kill us every single day, he is able to decimate us with his villain points, which he's currently full up with. We can't give him any more. Everyone has a max of three. So, unfortunately, if we max a thing give someone three, that's just points just gone to the wind. Like spooky gauche for today, Wait. for spooky month. I, I think you just added a new way for me to use villain points. I can spend them to decimate you, so everybody loses 10% of their hit points. Nah, I mean, I did say in the past <laughs> you can just spend all three and, like, summon a dragon just to kill us all to finally, you know, end this show. But, like, you haven't yeah, done sure. that yet. And apparently yeah. you like playing with this for some reason. Well, I'm like a cat playing with its meal. <laughs> I see, I see, yeah, I see. Yeah. But uh, with all of that, thank you for everyone for joining us. And Mr. Bowman, what do you have for us today? Well, you know, speaking of meals, I do want to mention uh, that uh, the fine folks at Critical Hit Cookies have made a uh, Grisfell cookie now. Nice, nice. <laughs> I'm going to have to order uh, some of those uh, delightful, delightful cookies. Uh, so uh, let us get started here today. When we last left our intrepid band of adventurers, the Band of Bravos were uh, deep, deep, deep underground in the Darklands, uh, trying to find a way to broker a deal with the orcs. Uh, a group of orcs had taken over a surface mine uh, that connected to the kingdom of good goblin king Brightcrown uh, and have traveled now deep into the Darklands to attempt to broker a peace with these orcs. But th that has not been an easy task. Not, not only have there been a wide variety of uh, misadventures along the way, but upon finally discussing matters with the orcs, the orcs uh, so they're not really interested in giving back this mine. They have been fighting for this mine for centuries, and uh, they're not really that interested in giving it up. But perhaps the, the elders of the Orc uh, Council would be willing to negotiate with you, but if you were wanted to attempt to do so, you should probably uh, 
improve your standing with them. And you could do so by helping out the orcs. This was a two-part process. The first part was going to uh, see if you could negotiate some boats for the orcs. The orcs haven't been able to fish. They live on the north side of the uh, lake, which you can now see, just the hints of over here. Um, they live uh, on the north uh, side of the lake, and they haven't been able to fish for two reasons. One, they don't have boats, and two, they're preyed upon by the cloakers that live further to the north. Um, you went south first to, to deal with the boats. That was a long, complicated story that I'll let folks rewatch. Uh, but uh, suffice to say, you learned that the Boggards were not all that they appeared, and that the best option was to uh, uh, sneak back to Kobold Town with a uh, Kobold alchemist who had been uh, attempting to get his vengeance upon the Boggards. Uh, and he had a secret way that he could create boats, the, the Boggards having done so with their mushwood. Uh, you, you did that, and then you decided to turn your, your focus on to the other problem, which was uh, uh, trying to figure out a way to stop the cloakers from preying upon the orcs, and only the orcs, and that was your clue. The orcs uh, have not been preying upon the drow, who are uh, also in that reaches of the cave, but they are not preyed upon by the cloakers, um, and in fact are the uh, most popular uh, and 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 prosperous fishermen in the cave. Um, all very odd. So you decided to head up there to see what there was to learn. But before you did so, you spoke with Avona, uh, a drow outcast um, or escapee from this uh, cult. Uh, and she informed you that she was not sure what the drow had over the cloakers, but there was something going on in that uh, about once a month, the drow uh, would send a contingent uh, up into their caves through these great uh, doors um, and they would somehow uh, ensure that the cloakers were loyal. You have ventured uh, up in this direction, uh, traveling uh, kind of northeast from Kobold Town, making your way uh, up along the shores of the Hungry Lake. You saw a strange, lonely tower out in the middle of the lake. You could hear falls somewhere up to the north, not quite sure where. And uh, after all of that, you uh, found uh, some caves. Uh, that apparently lead into the drow domain. However, these quickly turned out to be a confusing maze of tunnels. Um, but before you could even get into them, you had to deal with a, a drider and uh, a, a rather large angry goliath spider or ogre spider. And uh, they were guarding the way in. But once you found your way in, you immediately got lost. It was impossible to find your way and uh, you ran afoul a hunting party of drow um, who apparently roamed these caves. But after all of that, you began to realize that you were being followed. Something was stalking you. Uh, right. And the group, the group decided to attempt to find out who this individual was by having uh, Alana transform herself into a inconspicuous little mouse and hide in the corridor as the party went past, waiting for whatever it was to come slinking by. And at the very end of the session, it did. A small hunched figure, uh, not unlike a, a deep gnome in overall shape, large head, bulbous eyes. However, one entire side of this creature was instead a long writhing tendril of mud. And this wide-eyed creature was just slinking up the hall after the heroes. Happy Halloween! Yes, <laughs> Boo! Spooky we yell at it. <laughs> yeah. No, and you cannot use this map here to guide your way. That's it's not accurate. <laughs> Those are just intestines fate. anyway. We, see, we have to take oh. left of the spaghetti noodle to get out of here. But if you hit the meatball, you've gone too far. It's it's diagrammatic. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go ahead and, and pop back over here. We were in this uh, maze map. <laughs> thing. Yes. All right, and, Lana, uh, here's his knife. Go kill that thing following us. He, did, did he just hand like a giant knife to yeah, like, here's the a mouse? knife. I just, just find a knife. Here you go. Go get it. If you so, give a mouse a dagger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, this uh, figure is kind of slinking along in the cave behind the party here. Um, 
quietly kind of moving up the cave and uh, Alana you see this figure kind of come around the corner and it's like slimy mud tendril like slaps up against the wall as it just kind of like eh. oh I don't like that one bit is is looking up the cave toward where the light is and you can see it has these large bulbous milky uh, eyes tinged with brown veins and uh, the creature kind of looks at you and you can see it has tiny little pupils at the light it is like, yeah. <laughs> uh, can I discern anything about it? Can I hush, uh, knowledge nature to see if I recognize any part of it? I like to think that Russell is uh, is your dog. So is this Russell barking and growling at it? It doesn't <laughs> like it either. Russell doesn't like it either. <laughs> oh, right. Um, I'm gonna yeah, you can, you can, uh, you can give me a knowledge nature check. That's fine. Oh, come on, twenty nine. Uh, twenty nine. Um, so, um, what you're looking at is clearly a deep gnome, Spurf Neblin. Uh, you've met them, right? Uh, they mm-hmm. were some of the first people you met down here. Um, uh, but something about it is not natural by any means i mean and it's obvious right um its entire right arm uh uh going down and like it 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 doesn't really have legs um or at least it only kind of does um because they rapidly just transform into these kind of mud tendrils that are all wrapped together in kind of a slimy oozy mess is this um, what happens when things get dumped in the slime pit from the old cult area that we were in earlier? Um, you're honestly not sure. You've never seen anything like this before. Um, okay, well, I don't want to be around it by myself, so it's time to go. I must squeaky sneak away with a stealth of 24 to try and catch up with the rest of the party. Um, let me is, Let me check a thing. Is, is, uh-oh. Gonna have to take it on by myself. All right, got initiative ready to go. Yeah, hey, you got a knife. Think, yeah, you got that knife. You can, yeah, I mean, you just, just give him a little. Give him <laughs> well, a little problem poke. solved. <laughs> give him a little shank. Just. Um, so um, yeah, you managed to sneak back up to the rest of the party without it noticing. It's kind of just leaning up against the wall, like. <sighs> And as you kind of crawl away, it's slowly kind of moving forward. And it moves really strangely because it's not really making footsteps or anything. It's just kind of oozing, sliming its way forward. It's just kind of like. Wait, is it leaving a trail? Is there something behind it? Like, is is it like a tentacle puppet? Um, It, it leaves a bit of a, of a mud trail behind it. But as that dries, it just looks like dirt. Okay. Right, you know, cave filth. Okay. One less crisis avoided. Um, uh, okay. So you make um, it back to the rest of the party. I'm assuming the rest of the party has kind of continued and moved up and back into this kind of cave area here. Yeah, I mean, it's like, ah, she, she's seen weird stuff. Let's keep going. Yep. It's some kind of deep gnome I think we've seen before, but something is very, very wrong with him. It's actually... You think it's probably a her. Her? Yeah. Oh, whoops. Sorry. No, no, no. It, it, it's hard to make out. It's it's made mostly of mud. <laughs> oh, right. I don't uh, know I... if she's in pain or if she's hurting or if she's looking for help or if, if something's happened to her and she's with the drow now. Well, what do we do? Well, do we keep going? Do we? Well, we've been I mean, here before. Oh, yeah, right. I, oh, I can get us across this bridge. Yeah, as yeah, as you're looking over the bridge, place. I'm gonna I'm gonna think it over. It's like, do I know anything like occult significance about like mud gnomes or technical puppets? Um, you can you can give me an occultism check. A ten. You have to go and look at her yourself. No, scary. I don't want to do. Some people uh, eat mud. <laughs> uh, yeah. As I think of that, I look over at Lauren and I'm like, mm. 
<laughs> no, no. Uh, Grisfeld uh, kind of pops out of the skull and he's like, I feel like we've been here before. We have. Thanks for pointing that out, Grisfeld. Uh, We're just scouting out the outlying areas. This is all by design. You do know where you're going, right? Nope. <laughs> Forward. Toward the coal. That's to me. We'll lead the way, but across the bridge is where I would like to go. Because it, it seems like we're lost. <laughs> That's correct, Goodfeld. I'm glad you also... like. Did, did you go to like a, an academy? Maybe went to the Mwangi area to you know figure that out? Um, well, I was trained in, in Taldor. <laughs> so, so, so then... Skim uh, but, back you know, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I went to the academy, yes. But I didn't learn anything about orienteering. Get in the skull. I hit the ghost with the skull. Like, that, here. That's rude. He's like, but it does seem to me like you have no idea where you're going. We've been <gasps> down here for hours. Yeah, I was going to go across uh -oh. the bridge. I noticed that there's this rock precariously balanced on top of this larger rock. Ah. I'm going to start throwing smaller rocks to try to dislodge it while I wait for Riverbales to figure out what we're doing. Uh... You throw smaller rocks at it, but they fail to dislodge it because that's all part of one map tile piece. <laughs> no! <laughs> the terrain has stopped us. Okay, do we all want to go across the bridge or no? Well, we um, don't really have anywhere else to go. Cool. Let's awesome. try it. So, yep. who wants to jump? Wait, wait, wait. What's, what, what's that? You didn't say anything. <laughs> What do you think it is? It's just the shadows, <laughs> Alana. Oh, just I the wind. <laughs> uh, I uh, I like jumping. Lauren, what do you need? What's I, this? I'm. Oh, oh my god, I'm less ah. interested in. Uh, I'm jumping ooh. up straight up in the air. Oh, you can bounce over that easy. Do it. Do it. I'll I'll watch. Well, it's more of a horizontal leap, but all right. Never, nevertheless, I'll take a running jump. Well, you can get a horizontal leap of 15 feet, which is actually enough to clear it. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> because most people can only leap 10 feet, which is only enough to clear one five-foot gap. Mm -hmm. There you go. Well, then I, I do that with ease. All right. Um, well, you kind of like hop, 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 boink. Uh, <laughs> do a little bird hop. Yeah, they're, they're, they're awesome, adorable bird hops. So go ahead and move yourself to the other side. All right, who's next? I'm still looking back and forth between the bridge and back at the deep gnome who needs oh, well, help, maybe. If you, well, if you look super worried about it, I'm, you might as well go next. Uh, I, I can't make that. Sure you can. Grisfell's, Grisfell's like, I'm pretty sure I can make it. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Grisfell. <laughs> well, I could, uh, uh, I could toss a rope across, and I can hold there on to it. Go. There you go. And just... Uh-oh. <laughs> hmm. Oh, yeah, there's another, some more wind down there, I hear. <laughs> yeah, it sounds, sounds like the deep known's a little, uh, a little sick. <laughs> Just... So, um... I do not have... Uh, you, you go hopping across, and you definitely hear from somewhere... Uh, down this corridor, you hear some dripping water, but, uh, Rourke, can you give me a perception check, please? Sure thing. Yeah. Well, do you want a pumpkin spice? Alright. Do you yeah. want a pumpkin spice? Eleven. Eleven. I would love a pumpkin spice. Thank you. You still owe me <laughs> No, you don't want one of these. You don't want one of these. It's a pumpkin spice dog treat. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's like a pumpkin spice treat from Bright Crown's, uh, you know, cronies upstairs. <laughs> I, I had uh, my first pumpkin spice latte of the season today. I'm, I'm turmeric's a spice, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I went through a bag of like pumpkin spice cookies on a Saturday. I don't think I've ever um, had pumpkin spice. I know we're going way off topic. We're just yeah, no, it's fun terrible. No, it's, it's Halloween. We're today supposed to is talk the, about pumpkins. Today is the day of background noises. <laughs> All right. So what so, happens when you work at home? Everybody can't so, stop uh, it. Rourke. You hop across, you hear some dripping, you don't hear anything else. Um, I'm focused on helping everyone else across by throwing a rope, one, one end of a rope. Um, I'll, I'll bounce over. I'll grab the rope and jump over. Sure. 
Um, I'm sure I'll make it. Well, well why don't you uh, go ahead and give me that uh, that check? It's athletics, correct? I believe so, yeah. Oh, is a 13 good enough? Probably not going to hero point that. Uh, <laughs> are you are you sure about that? <laughs> no, I, 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 I said 22. It's a 22. Yeah, uh, it's the first one, right? Yeah, yeah, 22. Yeah. It, it took a while for your for your bribe to roll 20 to cash in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that happens sometimes, you know. Um, so uh, you uh, go to uh, jump across the uh, pit. Da, 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 da. So, uh, yeah, you managed to clear it without too much trouble. Um, Yay! Yeah, you you had enough to uh, to uh, get a running start, and uh, you uh, made uh, yeah you cleared it uh, handily. All right, now I have my mighty fuse on the rope on this side, so I can drag everybody across. Alana, give me a. Uh, Perception check. All right. Twenty-two. There's something behind you. Which behind? A dog. Me? Russell does not like that at all. <laughs> He's just so angry. There's something <laughs> sliming around back there. Back the way we just came from, or any one of these other caves? A different, a, down a different tunnel. Uh, all right, time to go. Where was that rope? Uh, there, 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 you you have tossed a rope across. That'll that'll uh, give you at least a fighting chance. Should you totally miss it and fall down the pit? Because I absolutely cannot make that jump, and I don't know. Would any of my animal forms make that jump? You can make the do, jump. I believe. Do any you. of them have good athletics? Ooh, ooh, do a rabbit. Do a rabbit. Rabbit. <laughs> Hoppy hop, bunny bunny. Uh, all, yeah. all of your animal forms have a plus sixteen athletics. <laughs> That's oh. pretty good. <laughs> all right. Oh wait, wait, wait. Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, fourth level becomes sixteen. Well, no, I'll, I'll, Dang it. I'll tell you it's this something. much. Jumping a 15 it's foot better. gap is a DC of 15. <laughs> with you with a run. We'll just do this. I, I used my focus spell to turn into a mouse literally a moment ago. So let's do this. All right. Just regular athletics check. Oh, it's, a oh. Great, it's a one. <laughs> you want a hero point? That you got three. <laughs> I know I have three, but it'd be so hilarious to fail. You die. <laughs> You're right. That's that's the Maybe, problem. <laughs> we don't know. There might be a trampoline down there amid all the sharp rocks and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah there's a there's one of those pit trampolines. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a mattress at the bottom from the last time this happened. All right, hero pointing it. There you go. There we go. Hey. All right. You're able to easily <laughs> leap across. Leaving. Come on, Lauren. Drew's fell in All you do is you, you just rolled twenty two and you're fine. Grisfell's like. Hey, do you want to throw the skull across first, just in case? Nope. No, I really don't want to spend eternity at the bottom of a pit. All right, let's go with my not plus anything athletics. Whoop! I whoop, <laughs> start falling down with a ten. I go, ah, I'm trying. I got it. I grab you know the other side of the bridge and pull myself up and I'm like, first try. Grisfell appears on the other side and is looking at you like. He nearly didn't make it. I want everyone to know that. He nearly didn't make it. Nah, was, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm cool. I'm cool. We cool? We cool. Um. Just, just. Yes. Mm. Never mind. You have managed to make it across. Um, There is a uh, kind of a cave that heads up around the corner. It feels very like the air over here is very warm and humid. Ew. Oh, we have no place. Gen Con. <laughs> <laughs> we have nowhere to go but forward. Ooh, All right. I'm going to creep I'm forward. Gonna, I'm going to oh, creep oh. forward too. I'm uh, also going to roll perception same. to see if the thing that followed us. I'm going is... to valiantly walk forward. <laughs> Lauren, don't give no care. 
That's well, not, uh, what is he going to do? I'm a wizard. You uh, you begin moving forward, and and Alana, you're you're kind of listening, and you hear kind of dripping and the sounds of like some sort of pool, um, just like like you hear like what sounds almost like water splashing. Okay, I'm gonna creep forward and glip around this corner. Well, it's pretty dark. <laughs> it's dark. All right. Hey, yeah, Lauren, you also I'll... have the light. No, oh. I've, I've got the light. I'll right. I'll raise my shield and walk right here. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Who's this? So you go walking around the corner, and there, lurking at the edge of a pool, is this deep gnome. Uh, and as you walk into the room, it kind of sinks into the mud and, like, almost entirely uh, vanishes. You can just say, uh, barely make out where it was, kind of in the pile of mud. Oh, we got mud babies. Wait, yeah. Is that something? Okay. Yeah. I'm concerned and fascinated at the same time. So, as you make your way back here, you quickly come to realize that this caved-in kind of... This, this small chamber leads to another corridor that's a cave-in. And... You can't really see anything beyond that, but this small area is filled with kind of odds and ends. There's broken scraps of armor. There's um, old dull tools, like, you know, there's like a, an old bent dagger that's rusted. Um, there is a kind of mound of mushroom filth over here that looks like it's been slept in. Uh, but it's matted down with mud and filth. There is this pool of brackish water that is being formed from a stalactite up above uh, that is just dripping down into it and making little splashes. And all around it are these tiny uh, chunks of fungus, um, which look like it, it, they, they line the outside of the pool and there's like mud and filth put there for the fungus to grow on. And then there are parts that are just like snapped off and fresh and just have mud on them. Uh, and other parts where there's just a little fungus, then a lot of fungus, then it's thick with fungus. Um, and uh, the whole area looks like it's been occupied. It has the smell of kind of old sweat. Um, yeah. Yeah. Did the deep numb look like he fell into the pool or he just like stepped in foot first, knew exactly what was going to happen? She walked over to the edge of the pool and just sunk right into it. Um, so either it's really deep or she just turned into mud. She's trying to hide, Alana. Yep. We know you're oh. there. We're not. We're Did not you lose your to... friend? Yeah, we're not here to blow you up or anything. We're just. We're trying to get out of we're, here. We're looking, but we're friends. I'm going to put Russell down to go explore amongst the fungus. <laughs> I like how it's like, well, it's fungus, so let the let the little tiny mushroom let you go figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> you can't live forever in my hair. That's fair. Um, as as you all approach, um, this figure kind of rises up out of the muck a little bit and looks at all of you with one large blood shot eye and is just like holding its hand up to cover and shield it from the light and it's it just like go away hey don't you at me go away Brock, you did you lose your friend she kind of reaches out with a tendril and kind of splashes mud at you <laughs> should we be concerned about the mud or is it just mud it's just mud Okay. Yeah, so then, yeah, absolutely That's, concerned. I get my prestidigitation ready. Acidic mud. You never uh, know. Yeah, no, it, it, it splashes up at you, but it doesn't hurt. It's just it's just filth. <laughs> Ew. Uh, well, we are in your little home here. Sorry about that. You'll bring them here. You'll bring them. They'll fight Who's them? Me. The drow? <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, we're lost in this maze. Maybe you could perhaps help us. 
We all are. There's no getting out. That's, well, that's not, not good. Encouraging. Mm -hmm. Did you have another friend? I've. Don't have friends. A no one has friends in the maze. Somebody you came in with? No, no, I didn't. That... I, I was brought here. I didn't come here. Oh, all right. We, I, I think she was another deep numb that we ran into. What other not friends have you observed in the maze? She, um, sinks into the mud pile and then emerges from the wall right behind you. <gasps> Ooh, good That's trick. That's fascinating. So just kind of like the mud and the, the earth of the wall just suddenly gets really damp and slimy and she kind of s sinks out of it and looks at you and is like, uh, I don't trust you. I mean, I don't trust you either, but we can figure it out. Uh, I'm why? going to stick a toe in the mud pile. This is very interesting. You weren't, and she kind of l lashes forward with her tendril arm, and it spatters everybody back there with mud. I was ready for that. <laughs> you weren't brought here. Where are you? You, you came here. We're trying Why to get through here. here. We're trying to get through it. We didn't expect it to be a labyrinth. Did, uh, did Drow bring you here? Did the spiders bring you here? They... They bring all of us here. This is where they hunt. Oh, no. What do they hunt? You? I think so. They call us the failed. Oh, kind of not very me. helpful. Mud Wait, where do they bring you from? The pits. The pits is where they bring us from. The bug pits? No. Not bugs. Beetles. Beetle not pits? bugs. No, no. The places where we are unmade. At that, she kind of looks down at her slimy tendril of an arm. Oh. I assume you were submerged in slime, and you were supposed to be converted into a whole thing, but nothing worked out, so it threw you here, right? I am failed. Yeah, that's... that's right. Okay. So, um... She kind of reaches yeah. up to her face with the tendril, and it smears it with mud that then just, like, it... For a moment, it cakes her face, and then it's just absorbed back into her. Okay. I'm getting some clay face vibes. All right. No, I'm sad. Well, we'd love to get out of here. And if Do you could point <laughs> us in the right direction <laughs> on how to leave your home. <laughs> There's no way out of the maze. I mean, oh. do you remember how you got in? I was brought. How did they the bring you gate. in? Do you know where that is? <laughs> yes, but you can't go that way. That's where they are. They're always there. I mean, oh, it's a lead. We to deal with them. Yeah, we can, we can help with that. If you could uh, bring us there, I mean, we can deal with that problem when, it's, when it gets there, but you can just stay in the back and be safe. She kind of holds up her hand and touches her cheek, and the other tendril is wrapping around her head, and she's just like, no, but they might see me. They might God. see me. We'll just stay we'll be far back. They won't see you at all. Come, Where is that? come, come closer. Nah, I'm good. I'll take a tentative. Come closer, your light. Dim your lights. Dim them. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the one catching light. I'll step back. <laughs> I stay where I'm at <laughs> and just chill out there. Like, good luck, everybody. They might see you. They cannot know I'm here. They've, they've given up on me. Oh, f fine. I assume Grisfeld's still there. Yeah. I take my staff and slide it up and like poke that. it into him and makes the light go out like a can. Like, <laughs> thanks, Gris. <laughs> Just walk. He looks at you and he's like, rude. <laughs> <laughs>
and, and then he vanishes. <laughs> um. Oh, sorry. Um. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can, you can extinguish your light. That's not a problem. Then we won't be able to see anything. <laughs> It'll be pitch black, won't it? I think. Well, that's so the point. correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, uh, Rourke, aren't you using a torch? I am. I can put the torch out. Yeah. You, or... you can. You don't have to put the torch out, but you can dim the torch, right? I'll just pull do the little switch. By just yeah, holding I it in your mouth, turn the knob, right? letting it come out of your nostrils. Turn the little knob. <laughs> okay, here we'll do this. I, I I'll keep my light on. Rourke return can you know, burn out the torch, and then I'll just take my staff and do the dial and like do my dimmer switch and like. Turn Grisfell's head slightly so it's only coming out of one eye and not both of them. Yeah, yeah. Just just plug it up with some cloth, put a towel over it. There you go. That's like a dim. <laughs> there you go. So we'll do that. Like, All right, I've dimmed the light. There you go. Oh, oh, so much nicer. Yes. And every time she moves, she doesn't really walk. She just kind of sinks into the mud and comes out of a wall somewhere. Fascinating. She she comes out of the wall right behind you, Shenson, and she's like, Can't go that way. No, no. Closed. Closed. Safe. Oh, yeah. Safe. Did you close it, or did, like, the rocks just fall down? I brought them down so that I might have a place to hide. Oh. They don't come good. this way. And she kind of reaches out and slides a tendril over your shoulder. Not that way. All right. <laughs> do you know the way they do come from, if you don't want to go with us to show us the way? Ah, <laughs> uh, they, they come from the... The end of the maze. It's the only way out. Well, that's where we're trying to get. And do you at least know what direction it is? Or does it through the collapse? I know. I know. Yes. Yes. I I remember, maybe. Did I you think mind? so. She kind of comes out of the wall. But... But I need to remember. It will take some time to remember. You should rest. Yes. Yes, you should rest. Hmm. She kind of looks at you, Alana. Rest. And smiles with kind of crooked, awful, mud-filled teeth. Her tongue I... is a tendril of mud as well, you can now see. I don't look away from her as I... I'm going to try to sense motive that with a perception check, a 26, to find out if uh, rest means lie down so I can feed upon your flesh or something <laughs> like that. Like uh, mushrooms I, do when you, when you stop moving, they grow on you. So um, you're uh, watching her reaction. Um, you're honestly not entirely sure. She could be talking about eating you in your sleep. She could also just be entirely socially awkward and just creepy, right? We, we have things in common. I sit down and begin to rest. Without looking away from her, I put my hand on the ground for Russell to come back and find me. No! Oh! Oh, it moves. It's not food. No, this one's not food. Ah, and I put him. I have... I have, as she looks around to all of you, plenty of food. Would you like some? Nah, we good. Thanks. I wouldn't want to put you out. Delicate, delicious crop. And she goes over to the fung the pool and the fungus that's growing around it and snaps off a few Blech. chunks. Does it look different from any of the other mushrooms? Or are these the kind that are uh, going to be? Um, you're looking at them. Give me a nature check. 15. Um, you don't think they're poisonous, but they're not exactly the best for eating. I hold it up to Russell to get his opinion. He kind of goes, <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just kind of shrugs his mushroom shoulders. I mean, he, he's going to turn into dissertation on it, but it's going to take him a while to write it. So, you know. <laughs> 
This is one day, we're just going to ask Russell a question. He's going to put on a pair of pince nez and pull out a pipe. And he's like, well, I say. <laughs> well, quite right, chap. I you say, this will have an earthy taste to it, I say. So yeah, you should I definitely don't... try it. The aroma is the die for. <laughs> I don't know where that mushroom got a tweed jacket, but I'm here for it. All right. Uh... <laughs> hey, chat, if we get fan art of Russell in a tweed jacket with a pipe. Thank you. <laughs> So uh she she comes back out of the wall. I'm I'm Muck. She kind of leans over you, Lauren. And I'm Yuck. Ah. Ah, ah yes. Yes. Yuck. Yes. Who are you? Oh, uh, that's Pluck. I uh, I I point the work. Hey. <laughs> Pluck and, and Yuck. And that's Luck. I point the Shin Shin. Luck. Yay, luck. And that's luck. Buck. I put the alarm. <laughs> and and Buck. I'm glad uh-huh. you didn't run out of letters. <laughs> uh, starts with F and then K. <laughs> I Fire like, truck. I had to make a yeah. gear shift every time. <laughs> yes. Yes. Names. Yes. Very nice. Very very pretty. Yes. Uh, we should rest. Yes. And that's Let's what rest. I'm doing. I'm chilling out. Who am I resting? Muck goes over to the kind of mat of filth and mud and just kind of melts into it. And you can see that just like her head is just resting out of the muck and slime, but the rest of her body is just turned into a, basically a mud puddle. Uh, it's like and, mushroom frosting. And she just kind of is staring at all of you with open eyes as as she lays there. Oh, um, can I get a can I get a bandage? Yeah. I'm right, just gonna well. say let's take this uh this long rest to take care of everybody. Maybe okay. set up a watch because it is technically dangerous in these caves and there are oh. hunting parties out. All right, you guys Definitely. figure that out. I fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I'll you wake for your contributions, Lauren. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, uh, Alana, you can go around and medicine some folks up. Um, it will take a bit. Um, I, I don't know how hurt everyone is. I don't recall. I'm, I was about uh, halfway wounded. <laughs> Yeah, Down gotta, about like 10 points. I was like thinking a, we'd do a long rest and work on getting our whole HP and all of our spells back up. I'm like well, a if 17 you, if you, out of If you sleep the night, you can get back all your spells and uh, and do a bunch of medicine checks. So, and, and your medicine checks are automatic, so. Yeah. I'm not worried about it. Right. You just want to full sleep, heal up, and then just continue on? And somebody uh, take a watch, and then somebody else take a watch because we're in a labyrinth. Sure. Cool. Uh, I'm not. I'm not necessarily worried about everybody um, figuring out exactly who's on watch when. If something happens, I'll determine randomly. I just want to know who's on watch, who's taking watches, and it sounds like everyone but Lauren. Yeah, I'll do first oh, no, watch I'm... while I'm doing medicine for everybody. No, 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 he's right. He's right. I'm sleeping. I'm waking him up for his watch. I need my beauty <laughs> sleep early, early in the morning. I'm a wizard. <laughs> Yeah, that means you'll, you, you're you used to getting up early in the morning and studying. No, yeah, I, I sleep, I sleep 14 that. hours a day, and I procrastinate doing my studies, and then I cram I it all at the last wizard, session. I thought you were a not a cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing. So, the wizards sound a lot like college students. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, the Mwangi, the Mwangi school was really hard, okay? I, I, I got really, I tried doing my curriculums, and it didn't work. Did you drop Great. out of the Magambia? No! <laughs> that Lord the Magambia dropout? <laughs> Did he drop out? Look, I got Or was out, he expelled? I got I got I got all the way up there and stuff and I was doing really good and then you know, just stuff happened, okay? I didn't have enough money. It just it wasn't oh. <laughs> Did the ge- did the Dean kick you out for pranks? <laughs> Look, I found out how to do fireball at level one. Lorn! <laughs> <Lord! laughs> you, Lord! This and it's like, oh, please do go on. It's like, what? You ever, you ever watch that Futurama episode where they go to like Mars University or something? Uh, yeah, 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 it's a good one. I just, I just imagine I was house. part of it. 
<laughs> run a house like Lord House. Just... <laughs> Were you on double secret probation? He, Grisfell is just like, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> I am being carried around by a dropout. <laughs> Look, I didn't drop out. I, I, I am a not a Ford student. Okay, you didn't fire me. I quit. He, he like, goes, I. I Grisfell didn't have enough gold. Rescue, and he's like, can you guys hire a better wizard? <laughs> look, look, listen here, all right? I was born in a noble family. My father wanted to be the, be, me to be a warrior. And then I wanted to be a wizard instead. So at least my mother helped pay for all the bills. And the father found out and cut my funding. And so then I had to join the circus with these bozos. <laughs> Not only is he a dropout, he's a cutoff dropout. Wait, you dropped out of school and joined a circus? Because I had no money. I was desperate, okay? And now I'm in a cave working I'm for a I'm from a, a noble house in Taldor. I'm being carried around by a circus dropout. Look. I'm writing I'm writing Look. all of this down for future use in, in upcoming shows. <laughs> Look, well, this is good stuff. Don't stop now. I have a tragic backstory, darn it. Yeah, real tragic. You drank too much and dropped out of school. I just told you I couldn't go because of the money. Uh huh. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing good. I cast fireball at level one. At one. His his head comes out of the skull. He's like loser. <laughs> and then he just I saw, but I don't do my watch. <laughs> I make it as awkward as possible for the for the gnome. <laughs> Muck, Muck is laying in her mud pile and she just goes, drama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so the evening passes, uh, mostly uneventfully. Uh, let's see. Uh, Shenson. Uh oh. During your watch, uh, Muck kind of sinks fully into the pool and appears right next to a bunch of you. And it's just like, ha, 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 thirsty. Are you thirsty? No, and neither are you. You're having a bad drink. Go back to your mushroom pile. It's all right. It's okay. There's she kind of just for. leans her head down to this brackish water pool, and you hear her just kind of... Oh! Drinking water. Yeah, that's fine. Thirsty. I must stay moist. <laughs> no. Otherwise, I crack and I crumble. I crumble. Well, you don't want to do that. Drink up Remoisten. Other than that, the evening's uneventful. Yay. Muck does not get up and try and eat anyone. <laughs> uh, and after a, a good long period of rest, everyone uh, wakes up and is uh, refreshed and able to get their spells. In the morning, Muck is nowhere to be seen. Um, at least not at first. You're all able to kind of do your prep and do your medicine in peace. Muck is apparently not there. That's fine. Probably have mud person uh, stuff to do. I'm going to go up to the mud pool and gently tap it just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> You go up and, and gently tap the mud pool. I mean, nothing nothing really happens. Okay. I thought she might be in there, but she's not. A little knock-knock. Little you know, good morning. We're going to head out. Do you want to come with us? Do you want a chance I, to be free? I don't want that thing to be near us. Don't be rude. Why? Have you looked at that thing? I mean, have looked at you or any of us or... Every yeah, pack and of monsters still here, we run into. Let's go. Has... Okay. Um, you're you're kind of all all discussing this, and uh, as you as you do so, um, Muck kind of rises up out of the the pool at the end. You've all managed to get your spell prep in, and you're kind of discussing what to do, and and Muck just kind of looks at all of you and says, "Muck cannot leave." 
I need yeah. the pool. The pool keeps me alive. Oh, that's fine. Specifically um, this pool or any water? She shrugs. I am made of this mud. Muck is made of muck. I cannot leave. I, I have time? no place out there anymore. Mm-hmm. I had a name. What was your name? What do you want your name to be? I'm Muck. Do you want it to be Muck? It does not matter, because that's what I am. Muck. I have found the, the way back. Sad. <gasps> found the way back to where they keep watch. The only way out, I cannot go there. They will find me. That's fine. Well, tell us the way here. and we'll deal with them. They have powerful wards that prevent us from leaving. We are to be hunted. We can knock those wards down. That's what we do. We break stuff all the time. You cannot if you have this. And she kind of raises up her arm that isn't made of mud. And there on the underside of it, there is a, like, weird rune that has been, like, scarred into her flesh. Oh, does it spell a word I recognize? Um, No, it looks like a magical rune. It doesn't look like writing. Can um, do an arcana check to figure that out? Sure. Arcana go. 29. So um, you're not 100% sure what it is without, like, spending a good deal of time, you know, examining it and pouring through books and stuff. But it does look like a kind of like a binding rune um, that, you know, would you might put on a creature and then put runes around it to prevent it from leaving that area. So, I mean, her, her story kind of checks out. I don't like this one, but Alana will remember that. <clears throat> um, I can take you. I can take you near. I cannot go close, though. They there is more than me. enough. They will, they will hurt me. That's fine well, with us. I'm not about to let that happen. I will take you. Are you When you are ready, we will go. I'm ready now. That's roll. Let's imagine we're super marrying it through the mud. Like whoop, 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 and then just up here. So, um, Muck takes you back out to the bridge where um, she, like, raises her hand over the, the ground and the area south of it becomes solid so that everyone can walk across. Um, at least temporarily. Um, That's a neat as trick. She, as she leaves, she kind of pulls the mud and muck back into herself. And you notice that that act caused her to look like, you know, instead of like wet, glistening mud, she now has like some dried patches on her and she's kind of like, ah. um, but she leads you down some caves and, and kind of back the way you came, uh, heading uh, in quite a different direction. Sure, I've got everybody here. We're rolling through the caves, waiting for Jason to change the map. We're waiting for him to change the roll twenty map. Waiting for him to change. Waiting for him to change. I changed it, <laughs> and he's changed it. Hip, hooray! Stop it. <laughs> Does that give us bar bonuses? No. <laughs> Trying to fix everybody up here. There you go. So, Muck leads you through a long series of winding caverns and, and chambers. And after after going through it all, you see now how it is so easy to get lost in this place. There are left turns, right turns. There's dead ends. There's backtracks. There's all sorts of things. And, you know, getting through it is incredibly complicated. Um but Muck knows her way around. So she kind of leads you uh, to uh, this area here. Um, uh, Peyton, I'm assuming you let your light go back up to full. Yeah. And Muck goes, 
This is the way. The the bridge, you must cross it. I cannot. That is where they are. They're that way. They will stop oh. you. I'm sorry oh. that you will have to perish. Is there anything you would like to leave me? <laughs> Since you're about to die. Oh, wow. Well, that's... Well, you did help us. Uh, Alana, give him some. What do you need down here? Fresh water? Actually, yeah, I'm going to pull out my water pouch and pass it over. If she's getting dry and cracky. Oh. oh. And she she slurps some of it, and it, it her, her, her drier patches immediately become, like, wet and liquidy again. And she's like, oh, oh, such a gift. And she kind of is gently patting the, the, the water skin, and she's... Oh. Good luck. Now you can take it with you. Are there any more? How many more of you are there down here? Oh. They catch the others. And with that, she kind of slurks off. Um, vanishing. Slurks? Off. Well, kind of. She does leave like a mud like, slime trail. Like, like the like the saber tooth frogs? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, wherever she goes, she does kind of lead a, a mud trail. I mean, after a few moments, it kind of dries to the point that you can't really tell. It's indistinguishable from the dirty cave floors, so... I'm gonna sneaky sneak into the room. Okay. Um, you begin to move into uh, the, the chamber here. Um, it is pretty clear that there is a, a pretty large chasm uh, in here. Um... You can just see the, the, the bits of a bridge um, and uh, it seems to, to kind of go off into darkness. That's a spooky spot to lurk. I'll go up there. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. As I do that, since it is spooky times, I'm going to cast a spell to make some spook. Oh, look, I got a typo on that too. It's, so it's all... <laughs> A ghost sound. sound. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Well done. Yeah, no, I'm I'm very spooked out by it. <laughs> yeah. Super spooky. Um how far yeah, it's the typo. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. Now it's not spooky anymore. <laughs> well, no, it's spooky, but it's it's like grammatically correct in its spookiness. You ruined oh, Halloween. Uh, yeah, that, well, that's oh, fair. No. Have some carob chips for your candy. Did you say carob chips? <laughs> yes, you monster. Carob chips mixed with unsalted peanuts. That makes you a very bad person. All right. Um, so uh, you see this kind of bridge stretching out into darkness. You can't really get a better sense of the chamber um, than that. Um, everybody, let's see. Uh, Shenson, can you give me a stealth check, please? I certainly, certainly can. Whoops. Unless my mouse freaks out. 30. Okay. Natural 20, that's a, even. That's a shiny that's, green 30. That's that's a that's a nice green critical 30. Yeah. Mm, spooky. Very, it's, it's spooky. Critically spooky. <laughs> so what do you do? There's this old looking rickety bridge that crosses this dark chasm. <gasps> Russell, can I borrow your eyes again? Russell's like, eh. <laughs> Russell has yeah. dark vision. It's a living. <laughs> All right. Am I taking um, a look across the bridge? So uh, he has dark vision. Um, he can see that across the bridge, um, there is a kind of a, 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 a chasm that leads out of this area, um, a cavern that looks like it leads to some stairs. There's a stalactite and what looks like it might be a crate of some sort, kind of perched on the other side of the pit. Um, he can't really see what's behind that because, well, they're they're blocking his view. Um, that's kind of it. I mean, there's this bridge that crosses to the other side. You don't? See, I don't see any people or anything. Any movement? Uh, what is uh, what is your uh? Give me a perception check. All right. All right. I got a solution. 22. Um, yeah, I don't see anything. I summon Grisfeld right beside me as a normal skeleton. 
with uh, animate undead or whatever. He appears. He's like, what are you doing? What's up, Gwiz? <laughs> hey. Uh, Just walk across that bridge for me. Uh, you sure that's a great idea? Did they uh, teach you that in the circus? Go make yourself. certainly didn't Go teach him at bridge. school because he didn't wasn't there for that class. <laughs> well, that's why I was wondering if they taught him that in the circus. Maybe he was part of the trapeze act. <laughs> now, I'll, I'll, I won't have you maligning the circus. A perfectly <laughs> normal trade. Respectable, even. Ah! Yeah, sure. <laughs> Get on, He's like, so, uh, so I gotta go across the bridge? Is that what you said? I use the magic to compel him to go as the magic is I'm basically controlling him, like, you're going to go, Grisfeld. Off you go. Russell, walk... come back here, please. So, uh, actually... he, goes, he goes walking up to the bridge and he, uh, he steps out onto it. And he looks, he turns back over to you, and he just goes, ha ha, and throws himself off the bridge. <laughs> I still command you, Grisfeld. You can't do that. <laughs> I summon another not Grisfeld skeleton. <laughs> Grisfeld then to go pops back out the of the bridge. skull, and he's like, I didn't feel like it. <laughs> Mohan, I quit. Wait I drop a second. out. I get a Mohan, do over for that spell slot. <laughs> Russell, would you please cross the bridge and tell me what's farther on the other side if you can? Russell looks at you and he's like, eh. does, that mean, does that mean do it? If Russell's not comfortable, then he doesn't have to go across. No, I, I summon another normal skeleton and send it across the bridge. Uh, sure. A non-insubordinate skeleton, that is? Yeah, I'm taking back that spell slot that I have to use. <laughs> I don't care what you say. I, it's it's back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I see. That's that's just how we're going to play now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cause it's not all right with me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, you uh, summon up a ordinary skeleton. Uh, it goes walking uh, over to the bridge and uh, begins to cross it. Look at him go. Look at him go. And uh, yeah, he uh, he begins to cross it, and it's then that you all hear a strange, horrible sound. <gasps> um, you hear this kind of. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Tasmanian devil. <laughs> I thought it was just Sammy Sam. <laughs> As emerging, and I'm not sure that you can see this. Does your does your light reach all the way back here? No, barely. Uh, I can move up here. Hold up. Or there you go. I'm still moved, looking at his eyes. I now what see do the we grate. see? You see a grate, and coming up out of this grate is at first it looks like a bubble of slime but it quickly oozes between the 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 grate and reforms and as it does so you can see these nightmarish mouths and eyes opening up on it as this nightmare bubbles up out of the darkness below and begins to move towards the skeleton on the bridge uh oh oh no and oh, as it moves it. close um, it's nightmarish, insane gibbering. Mm. Um, reaches out and hits <gasps> all of you. Oh no! Yay! So uh, I'm going to need two things. First, let's just go ahead and start out with a will save from everybody. Is um, this something I can uh, do counter uh, performance on? I it is auditory. I. Fire off a counter performance. A 26. I need to do a performance check, check, right? Yeah, but I'll see what uh, Jensen gets. Yeah, on so that. folks can take a 27 since it's, it doesn't get the plus one from dancing or uh, my focus in dancing. So it's. Right. I'll, I'll take that 27. 27. 27. Sounds pretty good to me. All right. Well. Uh, Shenson's counterperformance uh, distracts you all from its kind of nightmarish gibbering 
Uh, I've heard Shenson say weirder things. That is that is absolutely true. Um, Three piles of hats. <laughs> what, what, why would you even? All right. Um, <laughs> so uh, at that, I'm going to need everyone to roll initiative, please. Shenson, you can roll stealth if you like. I would like and shall. Since Despite you specifically were taking shrieking. stealth exploration action before all of this started. Oh, 18. But I forgot. So we don't need this bridge, right? <laughs> There's my mushroom. Well, your mushroom's with you. Okay, he got off the bridge. <clears throat> no, we don't need the bridge. Let me take care of a thing real quick. Just going to make it harder for us to get over to where this thing uh, is. Nah, the fine. exit, but we can do it. I'm sure we can. I, I got levitate. See. I can we'll float see. us over like oh, balloons. Awesome. We all float down here, you know? Uh oh. Well, There's that's a... that's promising. All right. Uh, <laughs> so uh, the first thing that's going to happen here is um, this thing is going to go. And, uh, yeah, it's going to, uh, slime out onto the bridge. Uh huh. And once there, um, it, it moves its way out there with just these long, like, ropey tendrils of flesh. Um, and as it makes that spot, it is going to, uh, reach out and attempt to bite the skeleton. Goodbye, Mr. Skelly Man. Uh, yes, that is going to hit, and that is going and to destroy the skeleton. Yes. Um, and then with its third and final action, it'll move out here to, to right toward the end of the bridge. Um, all right. Uh, that was its turn. This nightmare of flesh and mouths and eyes has come rolling across the bridge just like uh, ropey tendrils just kind of swinging across grabbing and grasping things as it moves oh boy did anyone here play the video game carrion it is yes. in fact kind exactly picturing... what i'm picturing right now yeah totally. <laughs> nice um, a, a man right, of tendrils uh, and teeth and flesh yeah, and... It's terrible yeah and it just bites things <laughs> yeah. and at that rourke it is your turn all right I'm not afraid of it. I'll take a step up. I will uh, yeah, yeah. poke at it with my sword. See how what? How, just you have a swing it a at it with your brow sword. Twenty-two to hit. Twenty-two to hit yeah. is a hit. Just barely right. you managed to okay. connect with it. Terrific. Uh, I'll do twelve piercing damage as I just sort of just poke my sword into it. Oh, it's all bushy. Ah! All right, you uh, you uh, hit it with your rapier for uh, what was that twelve piercing damage? Yeah, twelve. Um, Indeed. And as you do so, you like poke it, and the wound that you create spews like blood and liquid flesh, uh, oh. and and then it slowly just seals up, and and where that wound <laughs> was, like a mouth opens to swallow <laughs> the wound. Oh, oh good ugh. job! What? You're enabling it. Oh, why are you like this? Moment. <laughs> uh, then I will. Uh, I'll raise my buckler. I guess. Uh, ah, it can't be killed. <laughs> I, I scream in panic. Ah, uh, well played. All right, push uh, it away. <laughs> push it back. I've got this. Alana, push it back is exactly what I want it to do. I don't want that thing anywhere near my friends. Oh no, seventeen. I'm yeah, going to use a hero point. Yeah. And it's oh worse. no, it's worse! You try and blast this thing with water, and your torrent of water hits it, but its form just opens up and allows the water to blast right through it, and then it closes right back up, and you did nothing. That's not good at all. Oh, right. I'm going to take my last action and load my crossbow, because I'm not getting anywhere near this thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Lauren. Yeah, sap, sap, chief. It's this, your uh, turn. This college uh, cutoff. 
doesn't have anything that like pushes things. So Grisbell appears from the skull and he's like, "Yeah, that's what you learn your sophomore year, but you didn't make it." <laughs> no, I I made wow. it there. I just didn't choose to take it in the book. I mean, you know, you saw me studying your books as well, and you refused to give me uh, additional knowledge at the same time, and um, yeah. I thought you mean. I thought you might want to help somebody who was seeking more and more knowledge. But I see that you and the rest of your failures are paramount to your current existence, Mister Grisfeld. So before you even speak to someone like me, who has possibly done more than what you've ever have done at this current age, and who is still very much alive and has taken every bit of opportunity to carry you along the world with me, shut up about my damn cut-off moments in college, you dead bastard. He looks at you and it's just like, well, I... And then just vanishes. <laughs> Excellent. So, for a... Uh... I'm trying so to, I'm trying to... Yeah, I'm trying to think of... I'm trying to think of anything. I'm just going to do a good old... No, that would hurt him. I'm just going to shoot a telegram predictor. I have nothing neat. So, 29. You uh, fling a telekinetic projectile at it. A chunk of rock comes off the floor and slams into the creature. Um, it kind of emits like a burst, a spurt of blood and goo um, as that hits. Uh, but the thing, if that hurt it significantly, it's hard to tell. It, where are its wounds? Where are its flesh? Who can know it's constantly folding and flipping and like doing moist squelching on itself. So it, it's just gross. That's what I'm saying. And uh, I cast shield. And then you cast shield. All right. Shenson. The proper way to reply and react to something that causes moist squelching, of course, is to cast mirror image. <laughs> so I do that. And then I do a lingering composition, inspire courage to get us some bard bonusy. Uh, gloriousness going. Ooh, a 30. Is that a crit? A 30 is a crit. Yay. Hooray. I'm done. All right. And next, next up. up. Ah, there he is. Mr. Mushmouth. Ooh. Emerging from the shadows uh, is a pair of drow. Um, they come uh, jumping up out of the darkness. The first one is going to, uh, let's see. Uh, Rourke, what is your, what is your perception? Uh, my perception DC would be a 19. Okay. Um, so he's going to come up out of the darkness. Uh, he is unseen to you and he's going to fire his hand crossbow at you. That'd be this one here. Oh! Ooh. Yeah. I mean, that, <laughs> that, it, it is the second round of combat, uh, Jason. I know. I got to be too critical. surprised. So, uh, in in traditional fashion, that is going to be a natural twenty for a total of thirty. That is a critical hit. Take ten points of damage uh, as the hand crossbow bolt sinks deep into your neck. And I'm afraid I'm going to need you. To make me a fortitude oh, save. Of course, of course. Uh, that's a 29. I think I'll stay on that. I think a 29 is probably <laughs> sufficient. Yes, it is. What? A, no surprises there. Um, separate. All right. Um, and then he's going to reload. The other one is going to fire at you, Lorne. No, he's not. I say yes, no. Is. Here it comes. <laughs> the, car, the bow gets close to me. I go, uh-uh. And then, like, falls off. So How with about the a 23? How much does the shield give me, AC? Just one, I think. Uh, yeah, just one. Yeah, it hits me. Okay. Uh, right. I want I want to do the absorption thing. So uh, you're going to shield hardness. block it? Yeah, I'm going to shield block right. it. So. so you uh throw your shield in the way. You cannot use it for the rest of this fight, basically, unless the fight goes a full minute, which it probably won't. Um, so... You throw your shield in the way, it slams into the bolt, the bolt fizzles, burns up, and falls into the chasm. You take no damage, and hence do not have to make a save against the poison. And that will be the end of their turn. It is the top of the order. 
which unfortunately means it's blub blub's turn. Blub blub. 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 Yeah, whatever. <laughs> My teacher had more vowels in its name than yours. Well, I can speak Atlas, so I'm totally grooving to what it's thrown out. <laughs> yeah, Destify, man. No doubt. Uh, so it is going to strike out at Rourke with its jaws. I like to imagine it spews philosophy at us. Or, like, life advice. Uh, you know. Armor class 23 there, Rourke. Thanks to my raised buckler, that is a miss. Yay! Hmm. Sad. I'm gonna use a villain point. <laughs> no! No! Oh, wow! That'll How do about it. a 33? Well, sure, but it's not a critical. Well, well, all right then. <laughs> Thank goodness Drow don't know how to do music, so that thing can't get a bard bonus. Uh, yeah, no, but I do appreciate the fact that uh, that uh, the folks in chat just reminded me that I skipped my sneak attack. Um, <gasps> chat! Oh, chat! I said shush! Oh, it's too uh, late anyway. Well, well uh, it's too late. It's kept on. Let's keep going. So, uh, yeah, we'll, 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 by the grace, I'm not going to penalize you because uh, chat reminded you that's that's my benevolent act for the day. Um, so, uh, but what I am going to do is 18 points of piercing damage. Uh, you also mm -hmm. now have a D4 persistent bleed. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. We'll go ahead go and red. put uh, this little, uh, yeah, red, and we'll just put a, a four in there. Oh, yeah. 44? Yeah. Wow, that's right. There we go. All right. That's weird. All right. Um, so we'll put a red four in there so that you uh, remember you have a D4 persistent bleed. With its second action, it's going to uh, grab you. Ah. No, no. It's been a while. And with its third and final action, it is going to spit acid at Alana. Uh-oh. Just whoop. Ooh. 17 does not hit. I'm going to wager a 17 misses, no, uh, which is fine because I rolled garbage damage anyway. So uh, oh it uh, it spits this gob of acid that hits the stone wall next to you and just begins melting it. Um, I look at the wall and I look back at it and just, uh oh. Russell is staring at the wall wide eyed like all of, all like six of its eyes are like blink, 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 blink. <laughs> I'm going As to it tuck looks back at you. <laughs> back into my hair and nope, 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 no part of this. That is the end of it, its its many mouthed turn, uh, Rourke. Mm hmm. I think I will uh, attempt uh, the uh, uh, acrobatic save to uh, escape as an action. All right. You can certainly attempt that. A Thirty-one. Thirty-one is going to do it. You manage to okay. uh, break out of its its. You like basically pull your arm out of the mouth that's gnawing on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh God, I don't want to be here anymore. You're basically um, fighting Tetsuo, so you know. <laughs> you can. You can always, oh God, no. <laughs> just, let's not. Let's not bring that character into the. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> It's, uh, you always try to push them back, and I'll just burn the bridge. Um, mm, I actually am gonna attempt. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to dance it. Um, All right, dance. Can it you do force, uh, force force movement? I'll let you like dance, like move. Don't you have a Don't you have a cliff? thing that allows people to dance them back or so? Or yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Oh, oh I'm gonna wait. It to does know. not allow you to dance someone into a pit. Okay, we danced yeah. the one guy into the hole though, the troll. <laughs> you pushed him, we just push pushed him, him into a couple it. times. No, I, 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 I yeah, dropped uh, push him into the wall. Oh, here's my dance. Oh, that's not very good. You got two points left if you want to. Um, dance onto the bridge, and then uh, I'll sure, push I'll him back him. even farther. 22 against his will, DC. That is just barely enough. Yay! Okay, well, the tricky thing is, is I have to move in the same direction as him. But so can yeah, I... You're still on the ground if you move forward, and if you push him the one yeah, corner, but, uh, then you're good. 
Yeah, can I push? Can I push it back on on the bridge? Well, you like, can't push yeah. him diagonally to here because that requires you to go to there. Yeah, to move the same thing. All right. That means maybe I shouldn't have done this at all because I can just basically yeah. go up or back. Is oh no, not, I want to be right there. He's not able to shift right, and that thing goes that way because he's following it. Well, the, there's not enough bridge there. I, we no, have to mean, move in the same direction. Oh, okay. That's the that's criteria. the thing My about bad. this this uh, this weird feat. We can just um, do a rewind and you do something different. Nah, I want I want that panache. <laughs> um yeah i mean you know uh if you want we can say you took a step there first that's fine i mean oh yeah i could have done that yes yeah, yeah. i'll do that 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 okay cool. then i'll dance him on further onto the bridge like that yeah. yes okay great i have all right then i have finished there, that's my turn there you go knife works all right uh that is the end of rourke's turn ilana all right i want to make sure oh rourke you're going to be very in the way if i cast a cone spell it's going to affect rourke isn't it Oh, yeah. I mean, you can get to the yeah. side and then do it. Yeah, because I need... What is a good... I, I need to do a cone spell that also hits yeah. this guy. Uh, yeah, that's going to be real hard. If you move forward yeah. one more, you can hit that guy, but I don't think you can hit the the, the flesh thing. Yeah, Rourke, time. you danced yourself right in the way of a spell, and I can't stand in your spot, can I? Nope. No. You can just... If you just want to hit that thing, you just come to the side here and do it. That is true. All right. All right. I wanted to hit two, but I will make do with hitting just the one. So I'm going to get up and get closer, and I'm going to cast uh, level three Crashing Wave. Nice. There we go. All right. And that's a 30-foot cone, which is not going to be enough, but it will hit the, uh, the ooze. Uh, let's see. Crashing wave that sweeps away from you. You deal 66 bludgeoning damage. Okay, uh, let me make the reflex save here. And it's gonna oh, fail. Oh, oh, oh. And I don't we'll know take if it the pushes... full 22 damage. I don't know if it also pushes him back. I think that is a PG spell. Which I did not have open. Um, so when the water pummels and bludgeons this thing, like, that looks like it hurt it particularly bad. Um, uh, it's, it's like gooey substance is particularly vulnerable to being splattered. I just looked up crashing wave. It just does bludgeoning damage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, it's my push that actually pushes it back. All right. Um, so, uh, that is the end of Alana's turn. Lorne. Oh, Ah, I forgot. Oh, I'm still bleeding. Okay. I'll take that, uh. Oh yeah, take the take the three four points and... that you rolled at the beginning. Of the, the, the oh no, Rourke, no, come back! I should have healed you. I'll get him. Just bleeding. I'll hook him up with that delicious, delicious bard magic. That suit. It is all mm-hmm. good. Now on my turn, I cast fireball. <laughs> Foosh. Where's your where's so, your center point? Yeah, so that's where I'm trying to remember. Uh, what was the AOE thing of it all? I forget. Like 20? It's a twenty foot burst. Okay. All right, so my twenty foot is going to be basically like at the base of this bridge here, so it'll encompass sure. the bridge. So it'll just fuck. like, hopefully, I'm. Here's the plan, narrative wise: throw fireball at point, hit Strow that's right by it, also hits Flashy <laughs> thing that's on it, and begins to burn this bridge. Yeah, right. Um. Okay. So, uh, you throw a blast of flame. Uh, it is going to hit the bridge. It's going to hit the uh, flesh mound, uh, and it's going to hit the drow back there. All of them are going to need to make reflex saves. I'm going to start with the mound of mouths. The blah, 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 blah. Mouth mouth. Blah, 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 blah. A fourteen. Uh, almost, almost crit failure. Almost a crit failure. Um, yeah, my save is not great. Um. Yeah, I'm going to spend another villain point to re-roll that. No! And of course, you roll a natural 20. Aha! <laughs> yes, the, 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 the villain points really pay off for me as I turn a 2 into a 20, and uh, that is going to be a critical success. Let me go ahead and roll for the drow uh, that is back here. And the bonus to this, the bonus is plus one, which is a 22, which is going to be a failure. Um, 
So I am going to take full damage on that, which is 26. Oh. Oh. And, and for people, it's 26 fire damage this fireball did. Yeah, that's that's really bad. That uh, yeah. that obliterates that drow. He he vanishes. <laughs> I, I just like the mass of flame new- washes Ellie. over him, and like, when it clears, there is nothing back there but a charred corpse. I like the magic. At least you got you someone, ever, Peyton. <laughs> if you ever got any, if you're watching like animated shows where they do that enemy like Dragon Ball Z dying thing with a huge explosion where it's all white and black and it just like just fades away, <laughs> like pshaw! that's why I imagine the fireball did to that. Drow. So the bridge uh, takes one hell of a beating on that, um, and uh, it is not looking in particularly good shape um, after that. Uh, But it is still uh, up and standing. So, I mean, there's that. (laughs) And after that, I'll cast shield. No, I can't. So I just wait. Or actually, I get... Oh, no. I get a wee bit closer. Oh, 5, 10, 15. And then 20. Yep, I'll get over here. Ooh, there's the there's the crate that was hinted at. <gasps> Filled with treasure. Yeah, oh, look at sorry. you, Jason, being all special <laughs> erecty. Fancy. Look at me go. <laughs> you could tell you were I could tell you were doing something because of the way your tongue was like twitching and your eyes were like focusing and I have this I have this terrible habit that like I had since I was a kid. Wherever I draw, like there's a fifty percent chance my tongue is sticking out. I don't know why. It's just like bogger <laughs> bogger blood in you, I think. Um anyway uh now that we've explored that uh all right so uh that is the end of lauren's turn shenson we're up to you all right so that goes down to three more rounds of bard music and i give lauren the looky loo to see if he's like completely battered or uh just kind of messed up a little bit or just got a little bit of a flush i assume we full healed and we did i'm not lauren no uh uh, work yeah work Um, uh is uh, is let's let's call it halfway ish Halfway I'm battered. That, I'm chunk. All right, yeah, ba- got a big chunk taken out of me. That sounds like a second level soothe. So here you go, twenty-two healing, and you are bolstered about Thank from you. mental effects. You have a very positive attitude about this all. <laughs> it's going to be great. Well, it's, it's good to have a positive attitude, especially considering uh, the drow goes next. Well, I cast shield just before that, and then. Yeah. Which is funny because I accidentally deleted the draw from the initiative order. All right, let me fix that. There. Like he dropped out of the uh, the fight. Well, it's 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 actually more like I killed the one that I rolled the initiative oh. with. So, uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, so uh, Shenson is done. The draw goes. Uh, he moved there. He fired. He reloaded. Uh, he is going to fire again this time at Shenson because he can see you now since you have acted. Uh, he's going to go ahead and fire his hand crossbow at you. 23. A 23. Does that hit? That is a miss because of shields. All right. In that case, he's going to reload and he's going to fire again because uh, oh. he's over there and that's what he does. <laughs> and that's his role in the universe, just to exist to shoot a crossbow. <laughs> he was born. He was trained. He, he's been waiting his whole life to stand in that square and fire a crossbow. Uh, the fates have decided moment. your and destiny. He, <laughs> he went to Crossbow University. He majored. Was he in also stealth. a dropout with that fifteen? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> yeah. No. It's 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 a sad story. Is what I'm getting at. All right. Uh, that is the end of the drow's turn because the other one is dead. And now we are back to our my gibbering friend here on the bridge. Um. Yeah, he's going to uh, reach out and attempt to bite Rourke again. Uh, Armor class of 31. Yeah, that'll do it. Uh, Let's go ahead and get the damage rolled here. Uh, That is going to be 18 points of piercing damage. Okay. Once again, with his second action, he will grab you. (sighs) Um... Uh huh. 
Okay, he's got gotcha. you. And then uh, with his third action, he is going to spit again. Uh, this time at... Uh, I, I think it's once again at Alana. Because that wave of water came out of you. Here it comes. <laughs> yeah. Armor class of 18, though. I don't think it's going to do it. That's not hit. Oof. Yeah. Cool. Uh, spits more if acid at you, lands on the boulder next to you, burns part of it away. If he uh, keeps but... spitting at me, I'm just going to keep spitting back. <laughs> that is the end of the <clears throat> gibbering uh, thing of many mouths' turn. You know what? Let's just call it a gibbering mother. Uh, Rourke, that's a good idea. That's a nice name oh, for it. That's a nice name. I don't know good, why I didn't think I was going to call it a mouthing gibberer. That doesn't, that's hard to It doesn't say. roll off the tongue quite as well. Oh, no. And he has so many. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna, I'm grabbed here, and, and it, this, this being grabbed really affects my action economy, but, uh, uh, since I'm just only immobilized and flat-footed, I'm just gonna try to use my panache that I got last turn to do a confident finisher on this. Push him off the bridge. Just to, I wish I could push him. Um, just not a great roll. That is a, uh, uh, that is a pretty, pretty mediocre 20. I'm going to roll that again. I'm going to spend my last hero point to re-roll that. And get a 21 instead. Thanks, point. You got me a point. A 21 is a hit. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Phew! If he takes precision Yay. damage, this is what I'm Our hoping bonus. he does. He does take, take precision damage, yes. 24 precision damage, piercing damage. You're right here. Right plunging him in there. Yeah, like, like hit him in like seven eyes in a row. Yeah, you your your rapier hits one of his larger eyes and it just pops like a Ugh. over full gusher. <laughs> just disgusting spewing flesh jelly all over you. Um yeah. uh, I will attempt to get out of this grab though. Uh, all right. this is gonna be at a minus five since that escape is an attack action. Correct. Um, which makes it only a seventeen. 17 is not enough. You try and wrestle enough. free, but the thing still has you. Yeah, I'll then raise up my buckler. All right. Yeah. You raise up your buckler and, and are prepared for the worst. Alana. Uh, well, now I'm scared to push it off the bridge because what if it drags Rourke with it? It hey. is, in fact, holding him. I'm not bleeding anymore, Jason. Oh, hey, natural look at that. 20 on that. Uh, on you the, will the still check. take the D4, yes. though, first. Yes, of course. So take three, and right. uh, then that ends. Thank you very much. I mean, for now. Oh, all right. I really, really hope that I don't regret this. If he keeps spitting at me, I'm going to spit back. Uh, all right. You are doing a hydraulic push. Um, This is doing forced movement. Oh, boy. Yay, um, here we go. So that is going to do nine points of damage. Uh, plus some extra, actually, because it's bludgeoning. All right. Um, your water slams into this thing, uh, blasting it and forcing it off the bridge. Um, oh, Rourke. It is going to attempt to uh, uh, grab the edge. Uh... Oh, dear. Hey, the whole so, bridge is uh, on fire, so... It is going to attempt to grab the edge. It's going to try a reflex save. Twenty is going to be a success. Um, so... You push this thing off the ledge, and it has held on... Uh, but it is dragging Rourke with it. Um, Rourke, you're not off the bridge, but you okay. are being pulled, pulled with it slowly. as it nice. like ropey drags you along with it. And its mm -hmm. tendrils are all over the ropes and guidelines of this burning bridge, uh, holding on to it. By the way, the ropes that are s like singed and burned, they're doing that thing where they're they're starting to uncoil. I love this. I, I have love every an action second left. of this. Can I run up and grab Rourke's hand with my lax action? Um, you have spent two of your actions to cast this spell. You can move, but you can't 
do anything other than move. I can't grab his hand. No, that's that. Grabbing that, a friend would be another action. Yeah. Oh, Lorne, go get Rourke. There's nothing much else that I can do. All right, Alana, oh, you just hang in tight. I'll be fine. Yeah, there's nothing else I can do. Lorne, it's up to you. That way, Rock's trained for this. Telekinetic projectile the drow. <laughs> I'm going to reroll that. <laughs> And kaboom! <laughs> Same roll. <laughs> Damn it. Well, you were a little quick on the jump. Actually, no, you know what? You weren't. That, those aren't. You don't have a bonus on that, do you? You have the uh, party uh, bonus on that? No. So it's a 19 total. All right. So you hit. <laughs> hey, okay. bard bonus. Because I took a spell slot away from you, I'll I'll keep the hero point. I, I'll, I'll make sure it stays spent. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right, uh, so you throw a piece of rock over at the drow. That is going to slam right into that drow, but the drow does still uh, manage to stay standing. He took, you know, the toughness uh, elective courses at drow college, so uh, he's still up. <laughs> I will destroy anyone who mentions that college again. <laughs> he uh, he graduated from, you know, drow, rogue college. I see he's wearing the alumni, just like the whole sash Let over. Him in jacket. He's, he's, he's still wearing like the... The the, uh, the board that you know the, the hat. Yeah, he, he hasn't <laughs> got past college in his age. Like he's still living in that fantasy, even though he's like years past it. That's what he peaked. Peaked. Is he peaked as a jock in college? <laughs> I was assuming he this lives as those days. I was assuming this is just the third time he's gone to college because you know he just he finishes once, twice. I ah, might as well do it again. Yeah, three times. Get my doctor. You always go another time. <laughs> get my PhD. Yeah. It's fine. Lauren, do you have anything you're doing with your final action? I cry. All right, that's fair. That's one that's action. It. Shenson. <laughs> um, so if I cast Levitate on uh, Rourke, would that help him not get pulled off? How would that work against somebody dragging him down? Um, that would probably give him quite an edge. I'm going to cast Levitate on Rourke. The, the, the rules get real murky here, but I would say that it would probably give you quite the edge from falling. <laughs> there you go. You're all floatsy floatsy, like I promised, <laughs> like a bird balloon. Uh, I agree, but the range on that spell yeah. is touch. Yeah, I was about to say, it's like, I, I didn't Did want to... <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So you reach out and touch uh, Rourke. The drow rogue is going to go on the other side of the bridge. Uh, he is going to reload and then fire. He's going to fire at... Mm, he's going to fire at Lorne. Armor yeah, class of 22, Lorne. Uh, can I say no? You can say no. I say no as I get I hit by a crossbow I will also say bolt. you still take the damage. And I will do a fortitude. Out of no, no fortitude save. Just oh, take okay. Six. My bad. I haven't had time to reload poison. So, uh, <laughs> okay. So uh, that was my first and second action. Uh, for my third action, I'm actually going to move. Shale has He's already been used, chat. All right, uh, that would be the end of the Drow Rogue's turn, which also means it is the end of the round. Let's see how that bridge is doing. I'm, I'm just going to bounce a d20. Trying to see That's if the fire fun. goes out. Oh, the fire went out. <laughs> All right. Just so, time. so moist. Yeah, well, that actually helped. Half the bridge was soaked in water. Um, so uh, the oh, bridge right. is still going to take some damage for that round, though, but I'll deal with that here in just a moment. Uh, but... Uh, other than that, uh, that is fine. Now we are at the top of the order. Uh, we've got this nightmarish creature. Uh, it's going to go first, and the first thing it's going to do is it's going to attempt to kind of crawl back up onto the bridge space there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make an athletics check. It's going to go ahead and slime its way back onto the edge of the bridge. It's still in a precarious spot, but it is... It has pulled itself back up to there. Uh, with its uh, a second action, it's going to maintain the grab. And with its third action, it's just going to bite Rourke. <laughs> a whole lot. <laughs> Armor class of 30 against your flat-footed. Always with the biting. Yes. Yeah. Take another 18 points of damage and you are bleeding Ooh. again. Um, this thing is just gnawing and chewing at you and just ripping apart your flesh and consuming it. After all um, these attacks that have, like, destroyed our flesh, you think we wouldn't have any left? Well, you know, that's what healing's for. 
Yeah, just regenerating the good old, good old meat. All right, and that is the end of its turn. Rourke, it's up to you. Uh, boy, I will uh, uh, attempt to escape. Get out of there. 26 with my acrobatics. Uh, a 26 uh, will break you free. Yeah. Uh, um, oh, I'm at a minus two because of floating. Uh, but I will just go ahead and attempt to give it a little slash. A little a little a little piercing stab. Plus one to damage. Alright, right. that's critical. You are going to slash at it with it, but that is a natural one, so that is definitely yeah. going to miss. Um uh, I think let's see, you broke free, raising a buckler, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm gonna raise that buckler. Alright. We are uh done with Rourke's turn. Alana this thing looks pretty badly hurt. Oh, wait, I'm bleeding. I always forget the bleed. Oh, that is true. You are bleeding. Uh, yep, you are still bleeding. Take two points of damage. Okay. Ah! All right, Alana, we are back to you. What do you got for me? Okay, Rourke is completely free of this monster, so I am going to try and give it one final push off the bridge. Oof. With a 27. A 27. That is going to hit for another... Oof. Uh, it is now very Not a lot hurt. of damage. Nine damage only. Plus bar, though. Uh, we will attempt to... Oh, God. Oh. All right. Um... So uh, it has been pushed back now off. Uh, it is hanging on to some of these threaded, fraying ropes, just barely. It's tendrils of flesh, just barely hanging I on. I still have one action. You do have one action. And a loaded crossbow. <laughs> and a loaded crossbow. All right. Oh, Remember, you, you get a minus five on it. This, this is another yeah, attack. Yeah, it's going to be at a penalty because this is your second attack of the turn. Okay, roll 20. Please, please make this really cool. Eh. <laughs> no. <laughs> eh. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, the crossbow bolt goes whiz Gosh, whizzing it. past it, missing. Lorn, we are back to you. Ah, that little... That drow decided to run away, huh? Huh? You scared of me? Are Apparently. you scared of me, drow? You're scared of <laughs> me through. You can't mock me with your badge forever. I'll rip it from your corpse. <laughs> the, uh, the you you hear you hear a voice from the other side in undercom and say, "I'm afraid of dropouts." <laughs> I'm oh. going to destroy you. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do to you. <laughs> Guess what has a range of 120? Are you going to drop out of adventuring? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to animate undead. <laughs> I animate a zombie Hulk right by him. <laughs> oh, oh, that's poor. <laughs> <laughs> but dunk. Just boosh. <laughs> and, just, and I go, destroy him. <laughs> Destroy him utterly, please. All right. No, well, that, that, okay. got, that got serious quick. Um, all right. So the zombie, you get a zombie brute. Yep. He's over there. Um, just for streaming sake, I'm going to shift one over here. Just so people can see it better. Yeah. Um, well, you actually probably, well, yeah. I mean, you, you have to be able to see where you can summon it. So uh, I, mean, yeah, I, I can guess. see up yeah, there and I can yeah, see, can, I could have okay. saw it before. That's fine. All right, so it appears and attempts to uh, hit the drow with a fist. Can I spend uh, my own hero point to hit for it to re-roll? If you want, yeah. I sure do. Boop. Here it goes. Boop. And I got a two. <laughs> <laughs> Look from a four to a two. Come on, man. So that that's good, but don't worry. It'll swing again. That's fine. Here we go. There you go. <laughs> 25. <laughs> so uh, it, it appears misses and you hear the drow go ha, 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 just as pathetic and then you hear pluck 
<laughs> and it's dead. <laughs> and I go, oh, yeah. Woo! No, that, that, that would be I it win. for him. Shenson, we are up to you. So this Gibbering Mouth is still just hanging on for dear life, huh? Yeah, there's like bits and tendrils of it holding on, and as it's trying to rope its way back up onto the remains of the bridge. All right, I'll take a shot at it with my. I'll put my scimitar away, get out my short bow, and boink! All right. Yay! That seems like a pretty good hit. <laughs> that is a pretty good hit, especially considering our is short bows are short bows deadly. Uh yes, they yeah. are. <coughs> that's a critical. That's a natural twenty for everyone. That listening. is a critical hit, but minimum damage. Um, uh, does, but I don't have my bard bonus in there, so that's uh, three, six, nine points. Nine points, which is coincidentally just enough to kill it. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you, uh, your arrow. You pull back on your bow and let fly the arrow that slams into this thing. Its ropey tendrils slip as it's desperately trying to maw its way back up onto the bridge, but it fails and falls. I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed nobody tried to get me with my uh, mirror image. Into the abyss. Oh. Bye! Some, someone did take a shot at you. They just missed. Uh, yeah, they, they just missed entirely, so... <laughs> Quick, quick, Lauren, uh, Rourke, try to stab me. <laughs> I'm dancing around and dodging. No, thanks. I'm bleeding. Oh. <laughs> is there, you shouldn't is, do that. Uh, is there, uh, that'll, that'll, get, that'll get sharks on you. Uh, uh, is there anything uh, I can do on my turn to help staunch yeah, the Yeah, you can make a medicine check a to chance. attempt to bind the wound. Uh, is there a critical failure penalty on that? I don't think so. Because I'm not trained in medicine at all. Um... This might be an it's stop, drop, and roll, then, isn't remember. it? It's sort of stop, drop, and roll, right? Not really. I mean, uh, normally you just get a, uh, a free uh, a check at the end of the turn. Uh, oh, yeah. No, I don't need to be trained to administer first aid to myself. Yeah. I don't think you need to be trained. Yeah. There is a critical right. failure effect. Oh, yeah, no. I think you deal some damage to yourself. Uh, you take, well, you take your bleed damage again. 15. Uh, so fifteen is enough. Time. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. The bleeding stops. I'll, I'll, oh, okay. The bleeding stops. Hooray! Yeah. No, you're fine. Um, all right. So, uh, the the bridge itself is pretty damaged. Um, but now that you get a good uh, survey of the area, there's also uh, another spot where you can jump across. It's it's not as treacherous. Oh, oh Bruticus! Bruticus! Brrr. Excellent. Oh, no. um, Make yourself a bridge, please. Brr, dunk. <laughs> Thank you, Bruticus. And I walk across Bruticus <laughs> to the other side. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll allow it. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> use the zombie. Come on, everybody. Uh, but the zombie will not be able to recover from this position. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> because, because when it tries to get up, it just falls down the pit. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going right, to gonna float you along, uh, um, work so you can just like right, pull I still yourself have along levitate i can just kind of like whoop over the wire get guy wires yep no it's true come on right. my, my sir oh, okay. over over Bruticus, come on. there you go thank you Bruticus. all right now tickle his feet oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, and he falls. <laughs> oh no bye nice. Bruticus. wow i didn't believe you killed Bruticus. that's mean alana i move on <laughs> All right, so uh, making your way across the bridge, you find that there is a kind of natural spiral staircase that goes up. And uh, you uh, venture up this way, and it, it travels a, a distance, not incredibly long, but at the end, uh, it deposits you kind of in the corner of a vast chamber. Uh, this large kind of open space um, is is pretty dark, but you can make out in the center, there is an absolutely titanic kind of stalagmite stalactite that have grown together and basically a pillar that is holding, looks like it's holding up the center of the chamber. It's probably not true, but that's what it looks like. And this gigantic pillar is lined with like green glowing auras that trace along its, um, its boundaries and like bright magenta runes are carved into its surface and it is sitting in a vast and gigantic pond pool lake of bubbling undulating slime
And at that, we're going to take a short little break because we're way over. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take a, a, a short uh, couple-minute break to allow the cast to uh, uh, grab themselves some beverage and get ready for the uh, second half of the show. Uh, so I, I think that's that's where we'll call it break, everybody, and we will see you in, in just five, ten minutes. Hang tight, everybody, for the uh, rest of the show. Hello, everyone. We're back. Uh, when we uh, went on break, our brave band of bravos had uh, defeated the uh, mouther that is most gibbering and a, uh, a handful of drow to finally make their way out of the maze and into the domain of the drow. Uh, there you can see what can what must be the Weeping Citadel, the home of the drow cult. Um, even from this distance, um, you can see drow moving about uh, this space. Most of them are clustered around the tower, but in the larger chamber, it looks like there are various um, pits and plateaus that they use for various purposes that you cannot ascertain from this distance. Um, and But you do see drow moving around those areas. Fortunately, none of them are too close to where you are. Um, you are in this kind of... Uh, the chamber is not round by any sense of the means. As a matter of fact, it's kind of hard to get a good sense of what its shape actually is. But uh, it looks like the entire cavern itself might be roughly... The, its floor plan might look like a large eye, if you think about it as kind of an almond shape. Um with this uh this pillar in the center um and as i said even from here you can see that it is in this lake of bubbling undulating slime um that uh emits kind of v vaporous clouds that drift up into the high reaches of the vault of this place obscuring it almost as if there were clouds but you know that those those are no natural clouds those are instead dense broiling vapors from this ooze puddle that is constantly emitting noxious gas. The entire chamber stinks. It reeks of like old rotting flesh and kind of like acrid, uh, um, uh, just that kind of acrid burning smell of like burnt rubber and uh, and uh, sizzling um, kind of electrical wires. The whole air is kind of alive with that metallic acrid taste. I, I pull my cloak up over my nose. Yeah, it's it's not it's not pleasant. Um, it's not causing you any penalties, at least not immediately. But it is definitely not good. I still have uh, uh, one of the whole, one of the symbols that from the cult, drow cultist many many sessions ago that sort of half melted, and I'll like pull it out of my, my my pack and hold it up in such a way so the the camera sees through it and we can tell that it also looks like an eye, right? And it's a melted eye. It's the same symbol. Yes, it does look like the same mm. symbol. Yeah, the one the one that you have is a little bit more stylized than this one. Yeah, um, and it's yeah. I think it was a bit melted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, this is the place, all right. Uh, a place we don't want to go. I swear we're going anyway. No, I think we're supposed to go just go around it, right? Oh, from what some drow Aruna stuff in there. You, she said that the drow leave the citadel once a month and go to a great series of a, a great iron door that is somewhere in the wall of this place. She didn't actually say where that leads to the cloaker caves. Well, I'd say it's across that bridge over there, but. Well, there. so you can see that there is a bridge that kind of reaches out from the the surface of this cave, the floor of this cave, across the slime pit to the um, uh, tower itself. Uh, but it, it itself ends and then there's, you know, there's, think of this tower as if it's standing in the middle of a plane, right? So there's all this area around it uh, that is the cave floor. Um, and you are kind of in the middle of it. Oh, are we easily noticeable from any of those what look like windows from the tower? Uh, not from this distance. You're quite a ways away. If I could draw a crude kind of map. That is uh, the tower... You emerged from a cave entrance over here. 
that make sense? Yep. Yep. Sure. So we could just skirt the edge of the cave wall here and go all the way around until we find that 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 door. Put Might your hand be... on. Like hand on the wall until we find a keyhole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we travel forth. Well, we could get closer and go. Do we have any reason to go into the tower? Nope. No. Nope. Well, curiosity. Uh, uh, nope. Intrigue. Um, do, do you have any reason to go take on an entire drow cult? Uh, yeah. To save a bunch of people being hunt for sport. <clears throat> to, re to redeem them all? The more I nap, the more fireballs I cast. <laughs> Can I get everyone to give me a perception check? I mean... What you offering? Knowledge. Ah, well, that is a pretty good point you have there. About 24. Long got a 19. I got an 11. I'm distracted it. by all the potential inside the drow tower. Uh, 32. Yeah, I see that. All right. Uh, so taking okay. a look at everyone's checks here, Alana and Rourke, both of you can clearly pick out... Um, Somewhere far off in the distance, probably in the d vicinity of the tower, you can hear what only sounds like tortured moans and mournful wails. Uh -oh. um, just kind of echoing off the cave in the distance somewhere. You're not entirely sure where, but there's clearly bad things going on there. We'll save against my need to interfere. All right. <laughs> I won't go immediately to their aid. Well, but even from to. this distance, you can make out what must be well over two dozen drow. Um, we can take them. Either on the tower, around the tower, or in the kind of fields outside of it. In fact, you would probably say that the... Um, <clears throat> the... Uh, the The drow are mostly concentrated in this area here, right around the tower. And that is where most of their, like, pits and platforms are, um, where, like, you can see them walking around the, the pits and they've got, like, what look like long spears of some sort. Um, and then there's these taller kind of plateaus that look like they've been raised up out of the, the stone of the floor. And there are some up there um, who are, are walking around the perimeter. Um, you're not sure what they're doing. They're, they, they appear to be directing. Um, right, but well, most of that is was... happening right in the direct vicinity around the tower. Our plan was to go around the edge until we find the gate. So I guess we should keep up with that plan because we don't have the power to go stage a trail break quite yet. <clears throat> as much as I want to. Sure. And write that quest down, though. Put a little box next to it that we can check off later when we're powerful. <laughs> That and, and going and taking care of the Mabogo. <laughs> yeah, 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 that thing. The, the higher level quest log. You pick them up now. You gotta you gotta go quest yeah, some more before you can come back and do them. <laughs> it was great out. <laughs> All right. So um, you begin making your way around. Do you want to go clockwise or uh, Wittershins? Ooh, Wittershins, because it sounds more occulty. <laughs> Oh, I see. <laughs> I don't know who drew that, but oh, it's James. I can tell it's James. What? Right. No, just because it's sunshine color doesn't mean it was me. Your your icon color is yellow. <laughs> oh. So, are are is is that the plan? Are you going clockwise or counterclockwise? Uh, yeah, counterclockwise. <laughs> All right. You're all a bunch of jackals. Oh, that's it. That's, oh, that's, no. We're done, we're done aunt, having fun please. now. My aunt, please. It's Halloween, Jason. Yeah, it's he was Halloween. getting dressed up as... He was going to be a dapper vampire cyclops, man. <laughs> oh, I can't even back it up. It only it saves one back. So, yeah, forget it. It's gone now. All right. For, um, for, for context, for audio, the, Jason drew a map, and it looked like a cyclops in a weird way, so we started doodling, like, hats and stuff on it. And yeah, yeah, Jason yeah. got it was, mad. It was adorable, which is why I had to ruin it, because that's what I do. All right. Um, ah. <laughs> My eyebrows. <clears throat> All right. So, um... The party begins circling this uh, tower. Um, 
it is a long journey. I mean, making your way all the way around the outside of this thing. Um, you begin circling around uh, kind of counterclockwise. Um, and uh, just for sake of understanding your progress, if we map it to a clock, you started at like the 10 o'clock position and you're now going, you know, down. So you go from 10 to 9 to 8 to 7 to 6, right? Um, can I get everyone in the party to make me a stealth check? Oh, oh I'm boy. not good at those. 25. Five. Natural one. <laughs> I guess you're a point that you can't actually roll lower, so this is like a best chance. <laughs> That's true. Uh, a 13. I got a 10. Uh, 17 with a hero point. All right. Um, well, uh, the party is making their way kind of south uh, along the, the, the edge of the wall, desperately trying to avoid uh, notice. And... Um, you're doing an okay job. You got a lot of distance between you and where the drow are all clustered, so they haven't come to investigate you yet. Um, but you you do feel like there is perhaps more activity around the drow tower. Um, you're not sure what's up with that, but it, it does seem like there's more activity around the 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 area right around the tower. So. You begin uh, kind of making your way south, and you, you go from 10 to 9 to 8 to 7. When you get to about 7, right, so you're, you're kind of almost due south of the tower at this point, um, you run into a series of caves um, that lead out of this chamber, but you, you're not sure that these are the ones you're looking for. These caves go steadily down, and even from here, you can see thin wisps of smoke and warm heat waves kind of coming up out of these tunnels as if they lead down into hot uh, uh, vaults deep beneath the ground. Well, definitely not that way. No, oh, that's... That, that way sounds a little bit too um, high level for us. That's where the devil lives, I think. You, you, you walk that oh, way, maybe there's a barrier that says level 65 required. Um, oh, there might be Thrunies down there. They might be down there doing their, their creepy Charlie Axe chants. Mm. All right. Well, uh, so you pass those by and continue making your way. You reach six, five. Give me another uh, stealth check, everybody. And whoop. No, I'm going to Oh, 12. Oh, boy. Um, uh, I'm nineteen. I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna hero point that because I refuse to be the low roller. Yay! Oh, Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Did you roll the same thing twice again? Yeah. Yes. I'm glad I spent my hero point. <laughs> it was well earned for the laughs. For the journey on the way was filled with smiles and laughter, thanks Yay. to your failures. This is the yeah, Halloween I'll episode. Think. Stop it with the smiles and laughter. All right, so uh. You're 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 not feeling good about the activity around the drow tower as you make your way to about the four and then the three position. Um, as a matter of fact, it looks like they may have sent out a party to search uh, the area. <gasps> um, the The thing that is challenging is for for you all to travel with any certainty. You do need light, um, and you're pretty sure that's giving away your position. Uh, even if you limit it to just kind of your immediate vicinity. Also, I'm intrigued by the drow, so I keep popping up to try to see them. To see Hence the what? 12. To see the drow. Ooh, oh, yeah. Oh, hey. there. <laughs> Look, there they are. Um, um, if this has got to become a fight, could, could I get a couple bandages again? I got, I got chopped on good. I can do a two action in healing with my staff. So, 24. That's some, that's some good healing. That is maximum healing. Thank you, so, thank you. Keely, you're Holy works, when nothing's going on. Yep. Uh, two action heightened spell. No. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So level two, I got only a couple of those left. All right. All right. Um. Okay. So uh, you continue making your way uh, forward and um. Your journey takes you to a spot. You're at about the two position now. 
on the map, uh, you know, making your way around. So you've gotten to a point now where it would have been faster to go the other way. Oh, this is more go. scenic. Uh, you know what? Now that I think about it. Yeah, yeah, no, that's correct. Okay, yeah, no, sorry, my brain suddenly flipped clockwise and counterclockwise. Um, no, we're fine. Uh, so you do hit a point now where you're at about the two position um, where you, you would have gotten here faster had you gone clockwise. Um, but that said, you've hit a point where uh, up in the distance, you can see the side wall of the cavern. There is, um, and you can only see this because it's kind of rhymed with these glowing... Uh, magenta runes um, you can see these large uh, iron doors and just in front of these um, a, 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 a little ways off like you know 50 feet away but but between the the doors and the tower there appears to be kind of a trail that leads between the the tower and these doors and uh, in front of these doors, there appears to be an altar of some sort, and as you approach, you can hear low chanting, and suddenly you hear a piercing scream. What was that? Gasp. That was a piercing scream. <laughs> yes. That scream did uh, Need to interfere, intensifies. Ooh, maybe somebody just got like a prize and they're excited. Like, oh, yeah. oh, I've always wanted a puppy. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, it's like uh, and it, someone got promoted. Yeah, you know how they do promoted it. Promoted to puppy owner. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you so have you, to, you've you have actually to. Uh, kind of come at this. You're you're making your way up. I'm I'm kind of just wondering how are you approaching this situation? Sneakily curious. Yeah, I'm my best not to run to the person who needs aid. <laughs> I vote not to. I vote to mind my own business, but I guess we're looking. Mm -mm, need to interfere. Well, I, Intensifies. I think this is in front of the doors where we need to go. So this is in our in our path. And anything in the band of Bravo's path gets helped, whether they like it or not. Gets Fine. entertained, invasively entertained. <laughs> you will be forcefully entertained. Um, watch us or die. I mean, you don't the have entertainment a lot of will continue left, until morale's improve. <laughs> All right, so um, you begin to make your way up towards this uh, this area, and you can hear this chanting. It's growing in intensity, and you can hear... Bark, 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 bark. What do I hear his oh. dying words in Draconic? Uh, you hear a, a, a kobold screaming, No! 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 Oh, it burns! It burns! Oh, God! Oh, God! I, re I relay this to the team. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're screaming I, about I got it from context clues. <laughs> I mean, I just need to make sure you understand. You know, I'm the translator. Yeah. What if know. they have somebody else? Yeah, what if they're like, a let's new car, a let's new car, let's, hooray! Let's go save them. Let's go. Let's go save them. <laughs> let's, 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 Rescue. Let's, Band of rescues. Yep. yep, let's go. So I'm assuming you, are, are you just charging forward at this point, or are you still going to slow stealth it? Uh, We're running forward to rescue and redeem, not okay. Okay. and Shenzhen are going. Okay, yeah. team. I guess Shenzhen. I guess we're making this a story. I immediately cast <laughs> a. Uh, actually, let me see how many spell slots I got. <laughs> I wanted to uh, cast no. something before. No, yeah, I can't do the cool one. I saw I summon a ghoul. I guess. All right, and then we charge um, forward. Okay, so uh, I, I, I'll i let you summon the ghoul uh, mm -hmm. as everyone moves up, but I'm going to start with you uh, kind of behind the group and not entirely on the map yet. That's fine. Uh, let me let me arrange that here real quick. Bye, we Jason it does we'll be the back. Map. Jason's moving the things. Oh, what Taking that? forever. Hey, I got it. We're now on the map. So what are you, summoning a ghoul, you said? A ghoul. Most ghoulish of ghouls. Cause Make it extra Halloween-y. Oh, okay. Give him spooky eyes. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's like you fell down a barrel. I don't know. Yeah. Sure that's barrel how that works. Barrel ghouls are all right, so uh, the group goes charging up 
uh, to see this kind of gruesome scene. Um, there is a cage directly in front of you because you came at this from the opposite direction I thought you were going to. Uh, uh, there is a cage in front of you and inside you can see a poor, pathetic, malnourished kobold uh, staring out in kind of wide-eyed terror. He's not paying attention to you. Uh, off on the other side uh, here, you can see um, a creature that you haven't encountered in quite some time. Um, it is this large slug-like thing um, uh, yeah. that is um, pretty pretty horrific. Um, let me... No. Uh, yeah. Hello again. Oh, oh it is, no, it no. Is, oh, hi, hi. How there? How's it going? I'm sorry. It's a sluggish creature, and and it's it's there's two of them, and they are um, uh, both holding ends of like poles with like um uh, a choker collar between them that they can move uh, a creature around, and they appear to be pulling this choker collar up out of this bubbling pit and as they do so you can see that there's just scraps of skin and bone just barely hanging from the collar and they kind of take it and dump it off on the side and then uh up here you can see uh, uh, a handful of drow just barely in the gloom uh presiding over this pit of bubbling flesh and you know what? We're just going to go ahead and ask for initiative because, you know, I, I'm beginning to feel like that's the direction this is going to take. Rock, uh, rock. So, you know. I needed to make like an epic entrance speech. <laughs> you know, randomly off, you know, off the cuff and totally prepared. Who? Who? <laughs> Rourke. You know, the name I said. We're here. I didn't hear you say my name. Sorry. <clears throat> We're here to save the day. It's the <laughs> band of bravos. That's, that's that's all you got, really. Up and away. <laughs> up, up and away. Well, I don't oh, think we're allowed to say that. Or song. Quiet, we could say to words. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, ooh, that was a terrible roll. All right. Um, yeah, Lauren got a twenty-five on initiative. Yep, I'm seeing it. Okay. Uh, all right, I got everyone's rolls. Okay, so uh, you come bursting onto the scene where these drow are clearly in the middle of sacrificing, experimenting on poor kobolds. Rourke, you have seized initiative. What would you like to do? Okay, uh, these shapes up here are uh, the uh, those scary folks. I just kind of see them a little bit in darkness, I think. Um, uh, you mean this? Yeah. Yeah, the... the there are two of these large slug-like creatures. Um, they're covered in slime and ooze. They have like a slug-like body that rises up to two malformed limbs. Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna kind of move right up to him. And I'm gonna say, howdy handsome. You wanna dance? Um, um, you know, you're not sure if he wants to dance, but you know, thanks well, for I'm gonna, he, um, He's gonna wanna dance. Oh, he's gonna wanna dance. Oh, I see. <laughs> no, he's not. Oh you have no! A point, but gosh, I would. I don't want to fall down on my butt, so I think yes, I'm going to spend that point. Chat, you know, <laughs> yep. Chat. I run up to the horrible of... monster and promptly fall down. <laughs> um, uh, I got oh. one better. Well, uh, I mean, at least it's not a critical failure. It's not a critical failure. All right. No, no, it's it's not a critical failure, but it's not a success. I shouldn't have said anything. I shouldn't have tried to be clever about it. Uh, and then I will, um, uh, boy, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll raise my buckler. All right. Uh, you can uh, raise up your buckler to defend you from this nightmarish slug-like creature. No problems there. Um, that is the end of Rourke's turn. Ilana. I am in full mama bear mode, and I'm going to run up into this creature and produce flame. And get between it and the kobold. Um, you uh, dive forward, and the the horrible creature is there, and you throw flame directly at its face. That is a critical hit. Uh, so that is going to do twenty six points of fire damage Yikes. to this thing. Yeah. 
you blast its face with flames, scorching and burning the flesh. Uh, it oh, cries no, you out. Don't. It cries out in pathetic, piteous pain <laughs> as it burns and scorches uh, for 26 points of damage. I can't go any farther. But it is still up. That is the end of your turn. All right. The drow up uh, uh, around this altar are going to go... Uh, let's see. The first thing the priestess is going to do is she is going to summon a spectral tendril of slime uh, that is going to appear... And that is a two-action spell. It's going to appear right next to you, Rourke. Uh, and it is going to attack you with an armor class of 23. Thanks, buckler. You, you managed me. to just fend it what? off with the buckler. Uh, there is now a, uh, a, a, a tendril of slime floating ah. in the air right next to you. Right Ghost octopus. Here. What? Uh, and that is where it is. All right. Um, and that is the uh, end of her turn, is it? No, that's two actions. Uh, with her uh, last final action, she will draw her uh, weapon. Okay. Uh, and then her two uh, drow flunkies are going to go. The first one is going to draw his uh, short sword, and then he's going to move one. He's going to move to here. He moves into a flank across uh, from uh, on the other side of Rourke and swings out at you with his uh, short sword. You are flanked. But that is an absolutely pathetic roll. <laughs> what is that? A five? Ugh. Do I have any villain points? Uh, no. No? Yeah, no, you used them all. I did. Did yeah. I? Yeah. I, I don't have any. No. No? No. Yeah. no. Yeah. If I look at this afterwards, is it going to show that I have some? No. It certainly won't show you have two. <laughs> <laughs> Pick a, a random a random value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you use one. Okay. You have All one right. left. Yeah, I'm going to spend one. Okay, here we go. Uh, well, that's not much better in armor class of 18. I'm going to do it either. All right. Well, you know, I tried. Uh, and uh, then the other drow rogue is also going to advance one. And is going to swing his short sword at Rourke as well. Wow. That is two terrible rolls in a row. I'll let that one stand. All right. Uh, that is it for the drow. Lorne. I sustain and then cast telekinetic projectile at the drow that's right, top right of Rourke. And boom, 21. Uh, you fling a chunk of uh, cavern and stone that slams directly into this drow. It's going to do 15 points of damage. It's going to take that, but he is still standing. You have sustained uh, your ghoul, buddy. Mm -hmm. What is he doing? He is going... I want him to get to the top right, or as if he has enough movement. Uh, I don't think so. Let me see. Uh, 5, 10, 15, he 20. He can move 25? 30. Okay, yeah. He can get to the top right of that drow that I just shot at to flank, and I want him to attack. Yeah, you can go right there. Uh, all right, yeah, he'll go there and uh, he'll uh, he's gonna attempt to take a bite. Go raw. That is going to hit for six points of damage. Is uh, it a crit? Maybe because they're no, flanking and, and and stuff. No, it is not a crit. <laughs> uh, however, uh, yeah, he's immune. All right, never mind. Uh, yeah, okay. these are, these are immune to his effect. Yeah, they're immune to paralysis. I, I'm okay. done. All right, so the ghoul kind of yeah, yeah, and takes a bite of the drow. The drow like screams in revulsion as the undead thing closes in on him. Uh, but that is the end. Wait, of wait, he's grossed about. He's grossed out about that. Yeah, yeah, not about Com melting a kobold in a flesh pit. That's fine. yeah, yeah that's, that's a that's a Tuesday. Well, <laughs> double standards, bro. Undead are are not cool, man. All right, next thing. Shenson. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do my standard opening gamut with a lingering performance thing. Ooh, a 26. A 26. Uh, that is a success, not a critical success. All right. 
Um, and who's got the who's got the light source on us? Is it you? Uh, it's Rourke, it's still me. With your... Oh, it's you. All right. Oh, it's you. Um, I will link up to here to try to keep somebody from getting up behind my buddy, and then I'll right. stab that that uh that fellow right next to me. All right. Just north. Or slash. Uh, you me. you go up yeah, there to slash. slash at the drow that is flanking, but uh, that, that is um. A... Critical fail. I'm gonna reroll that. I'm gonna reroll that. That's gross. Nobody saw that. <laughs> Try again. Not my fault. 20, 26. You slash out, and this drow has been taking a pummeling from multiple sources, and he slumps to the ground under that withering assault. Yay! Take that. Uh, so you moved, you did bardic performance, and you slashed out. That is the end of yep. your turn. Next up, the slugs go. So. The one in front of me has persistent burning because the critical success. Oh yeah, all right. How much is the burning for? Uh, mine says three D four. I think that is incorrect though. No, that's that's a that's full damage. It's not full damage. Yeah, no, it's probably one D four, and it got mistyped. Uh, I don't know. The heightens or the critical. It's it's three D four. I think it produced flame as a cantrip. Yeah, and it's a third level spell now. Let me take a peek. Uh, let's see. Heightened. Increase the damage and the persistent damage. Oh, yeah. No, that's going to do 3d4. Yeah. Oof. Oof. That, that's 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 brutal. <laughs> that's a spicy I, meatball. Yeah, I right. said so mama bear mode. He's going to take 3d4, but uh, he's mm -hmm. going to get to act first. So uh, the first thing that's going to happen um, is these uh, things uh, start releasing this. Chest. As you've come up and attacked, they just start they just start going. It's just this kind of pathetic, piteous moan. And can I get everyone to make me a will save, please? Russell said no. With Russell's bark, I roll a twenty-three. Oh, this, an is, this, isn't, this isn't fear, is it? We're not afraid of these things. It right? is not fear. It is uh, auditory. Um, yeah. This, I don't like the way it sounds. Yeah, it just it's just it's just like pathetic <laughs> moaning. Um however you all made the save. So uh yeah, all right. Uh, hey. these these things are not nearly as deadly as they were the last time you faced them, but let's see how that goes. Uh the one that is fighting uh it is adjacent to Rourke, uh it is going to swipe out at him with a claw. That is going to fail. Uh, yeah. Are you gonna keep that? He asked leadingly. Uh, yes. <laughs> All right, because that's a critical Huzzah! sale against my. Yeah, there we go. Me. Uh, so I will go ahead and swashbuckle. A Twenty-six for nine nice. piercing damage. Twenty-six is going to hit. Is not a crit, but it is. It is nine points of damage. Uh, this thing, every time you slice it open, it just spews like gross slime and bile. Um, it is going to swing at you with a claw again. Hoping for a slightly better roll. A 23, I'm going to wager, is also a miss. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buckler up. And it'll try a, It'll try the third one, uh, but that's not nearly Ooh. enough. All right. Feeling close, though. Uh, the other one is going to slime up next to Alana. It's going to slice out an Alana with a claw. Assuming it rolls. There we are. 13? Come on now. <laughs> Good. The dice gods have left me as I rolled the two. Uh, it's going to uh, spend its final action to slice out of the line again. How's an armor class 20? That meets my AC directly. Take 13 points of slashing damage as its claw rips into you. Um, however, uh, that is the end of its turn. Rourke. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Whoa. There's a lot of you around here in there. Everyone just crowd around, crowd around. Uh, I'm going to uh, try to tumble through this drow. Okay. Uh, with an acrobatics check. That's a 23 against his uh, reflex DC. 23 against his reflex DC is enough. All right. He's flat-footed. I've got panache. All that good stuff. So I'm just going to... Did he roll that three, the, the persistent burning? Mm. Oh, yeah? No, we yeah, did not. Thank you for the reminder. Ooh. 
take nice. eight points. Sorry to interrupt. I just. Oh, no, it's you're okay. That, that's when I was on fire. And I'm, I'm going to let there. you keep that roll. Don't worry. Um, uh, I'll, I'll so, be better. <laughs> yeah, you, you slash out at the draw, the drow getting a 33. A 33, um, yeah. 33 is a critical hit. All right. So that's 28 points of damage. Assuming you you take a little bit of precision. Flip around to the backside of this drow and literally just impale him. Ha <laughs> um, As you withdraw the blade from his back, he just slumps to the ground dead. You have just ended him. <laughs> All right. I'll raise that buckler up. All right. You get the buckler up. Uh, next up, we have Ilana. I am going to take Mama Bear very seriously, and I'm going to spend two actions to turn into a bear. <laughs> a focus point. All right, so you transform into a bear. Um, you now have uh, some rather significant bonuses that I'm assuming you have worked into your character sheet somehow. I do, and oh, I'm boy. about to take a bite All right. out of this one directly below me. Oh, boy. Uh, the one that hasn't been hurt yet? The one that hasn't been hurt yet. Okay. With a 26. An armor class of 26 is a hit. It is not a critical hit, but it is a solid hit. Uh, for nine points of damage, um, you take a huge bite out of this one. It like, Ooh. as you hit it, and it, it pitifully whines and wails as you as you strike it. Um, I can't but, wait till you can talk again, Alana, so you can tell us what flavor it was. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I I won't I won't describe the taste that's in your mouth right now, but it's not it's not pleasant. Um, the taste is righteous fury. Yeah. Well, all right, there is some of that. Uh, next up, the Drago, and boy, I'm down to the priestess already, huh? Yeah, look at that. Oh, those rogues did not last long. Okay. Um, I suppose they are now like three full levels lower than you. All right. Uh, so uh, the priestess is going to go, and let's see. Uh, Rourke, as you approach, uh, she is going to, uh, first thing she's going to do is sustain the, uh, spiritual weapon. So that's going to attack you since you're still adjacent to it. Woo. Did you? That's, that's, oh terrible. boy. Did, did you that re is, you roll that a is, two. That is absolutely terrible. I'm going to spend a hero point to reroll that or a villain point. Yeah. You don't get hero points. You're a villain. Armor class 21, 21, it probably isn't going to do it either. Still a miss. Still a yeah. miss. Uh, so then uh, with her turn, she is going to uh, spend her final two actions. Uh, you know what? She's going to uh, uh, reach out to you. She points her hand out at you, and <laughs> swirling blackness emerges from it, in which you see spiraling, nightmaring, screaming souls. She is casting the form of dogs. Yeah, there there were some dogs. Yeah, uh, 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 Bard bonus give me gives me a plus one. Yes, it does. So Wait. give me a will save uh, against the fear. It's a twenty one. Uh, that is a success. So you are frightened one. All right. Let's get a little spooked. Ooh. Ooh there you go. There, there's your there's your spooky Halloween theme right there. Here's Happy Halloween! Oh. The fear spell. Oh. Frightened one. All right. Uh, and uh, sustaining the spell and, and casting another, that would be the end of her turn. Uh, Lorne. Sustain the spell. I move up 5, 10, 15, 20 this way so everyone can see. And, <laughs> uh, bubbling. And I cast oh, shield on myself, and that's all I can do. Oh, I didn't realize it was completely out of your sight line. But yeah, it's been bubbling this whole time. <laughs> Too dark. All right, so uh, you move up to there and cast shield. And, um, uh, what's your uh, ghoul buddy doing? My ghoul buddy? Uh, I'm going to trust Alana so we can take care of those two bozos. Ghoul! Lady with hat! Kill! <laughs> and I, I want to see if the ghoul can go. Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20. It can't. She has to be in a square. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to get her out. That's fine if him, him being there. So Rort can get in a flank position. And once the girl gets up there, just try to do whatever. She's going to be immune, if I remember right. So just normal attacking, whatever the yeah, best it'll, chance it'll, is. It'll make a bite. Here we go. Go wrong. That's a crit. 
Nat 20. Mm. <laughs> I mean, not a lot of damage, because whatever, but no, still. No, eight. but, 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 he gets, uh, eight he gets plus one when doing nothing. Plus, one. plus one's in there. Yeah, so eight damage. Uh, the ghoul walks up and just gnaws at her, and she just, ah, and she's wielding um, a large kind of tentacle mace um, that she is trying to bat this thing away with, but uh, currently that's old no school. Effect. Shenzhen. I run up next door. Hi there. You wouldn't want to like uh, convert and join our side and be our buddy, would you? <laughs> she hisses at you under her breath. I slash her. <laughs> uh, I slash her second time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so your first attack. There we go. Miss. 25. The second attack is a hit. Plus uh, two additional points of damage because it's uh, forceful. Ah, very good. Okay. Uh, so 13 points. You slash out with your scimitar and uh, she cries out in pain as the blade slices through her, uh, but she is still Just standing. a bad day. <laughs> yeah. Like, just came to the office to do a little bit of sliming and then like a yeah. gold bites <laughs> her and woke you know. up. Woke up, you know, the, the, the you dogs know, barking, the kids like, got to their cult lessons. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. Just, they went to pre cult and, you know, just, yeah, you know, getting, yeah. getting some, getting some prayers in and, yeah, just came out here to, to strip the flesh from some kobolds and, yeah, look, she got a new, day, new, like, murder. book holder thing too. And, like, it was a, it was, it was a, it was a slime mist gift or yeah. whatever it's called, you know, the day yeah. of the sliming. And it was a nice yeah. gift from her kids. Yeah, and uh, we're biting the hell out of her. <laughs> yeah, she like uh, she like uh, put a, a piece of macaroni art up on the, yeah, the yeah, chill box in the in the in crayon the drawings of a happy that, family that has like little macaroni uh, uh, humanoids being dumped in a pool of macaroni slime and being sacrificed to their vile god. <laughs> uh huh. And then she's you know oh, she's man. hugging her kids. She's Lots like... so much glitter. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that, that's monsters. the end of that. Uh, <laughs> the uh, Grothlets are going to go. Uh, the, they have been left over here with Alana. The one is going to, uh, the one that is very badly hurt is going to uh, s swipe at her with a claw. Armor class 24 for nine points of damage. Uh, yeah, that does hit. Yeah, you got a bit of an AC bump from being a bear, I'm assuming, but. Just a little bit. It's a 21 now. Okay. Uh, it's going to swipe out with the second claw for 11 points of damage. That's going to hit as well. Yep. <clears throat> and we'll try math. with the third. No, nowhere close. Uh, no, it does not hit at all. And now he's on fire. Yeah, he's going to take 3d4 points of damage, so let's go ahead and do that. 10 points of damage is going to be enough to to uh, kill him. However... <gasps> no! Uh -oh. Mike Thomas at the end of those sentences. Oh, gross. <laughs> what do you mean, gross? Ew. Oh, oh, oh what is... <laughs> Did he just he got... explode? He just sprayed cheddar cheese all over you, I think. <laughs> He um he actually kind of just erupts, um and unfortunately this is actually going to hit a lot of people. <laughs> it is significantly larger than I thought. Uh, so let me let me let me go ahead and just measure out. Yeah, it hits everybody. Uh, okay, so things are dangerous. Everybody needs to make a fortitude saving throw as they are all hit with <laughs> chunks of oh, I'm know, dead. rotting, slimy, acid-covered flesh. <laughs> Lauren rolled an 11. Remember to the rolls. There you go. Oh, nice. Got a 17. 19 for me. All right. So here's the deal. Um, those of you who uh, fail... Take six points of damage and are sickened one. What does fail? I assume we all, none uh, of us fail. And that would be mention. Lorne and Shenzhen. No! Oh, does an 18 and fail? One. I forgot to do my frightened. Uh, yes, an 18 does fail. No! 
second one. My yeah. my bear fur and claws and bulk protected me from the most of the blast. I don't want to be second one. Ah, great. <laughs> bad day to be a cultist. All right. Uh, this is a bad day, man. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just not it's just retirement not a good day. cannot be sooner. What happens when we catch to sacrifice an innocent cobalts? I'm coming after her next. If you guys don't take care of her for me, uh, well, like, and uh, like let me go ahead and bounce a d20 for this poor cobalt in the cage. No, oh, oh yeah. no, he crit failed. Nah, uh, well, he does have a bonus, but it's only a bonus of four. Do I protect any part of him since That's I'm in front of him? Eight. Uh, I don't well, think I you're think in cover no. bonus. He's in a cage, so. Yeah, he'll he'll just barely avoid the crit fail. Um, he's in very bad shape. All right. Um, uh, so now the other Grothlet goes, and he's going to continue attacking Alana as well. Here comes Claw 1. Armor class of 18 is going to miss. We'll try Claw 2. Ten. Definitely going to miss. Yeah. Tale of two attack series. The first one hit twice. This one did not hit at all. Swings at you furiously, but it's so covered in goo and slime from its dead companion that it misses. That goo and slime, by the way, apparently has no effect on the living one. I Surprise rise up on my back bare legs and bear roar. <laughs> Rourke. Uh, all right, Helena, I'll come help you. <laughs> I'll just sort of waddle my way down here and... Uh, Your yeah, full movement, uh, could you flank him or... Um, that action. Can I get over this little doohickey? That's a carpet. Oh, then uh, yes, I can. <laughs> I, I passed it. Can, can you Panache, walk? I have like a 35 feet. On carpet. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I, I'm going to be on his side. I thought that was like a slime trough to go into the slime pit, to be honest with you. Sure. Same. I yeah, do no, a, bear, a, this isn't exactly the place where you would expect to run into fine carpet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do a John Ritter style trip over the carpet and catch myself before I fall. It's uh, that's very hilarious. fair. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I am all about this. Uh, so uh, with the with the, I'll, I'll I'll just go 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 on the flanking. Um, she's gonna be at a minus one at all of this because of frightened and sickened, but a twenty four. A twenty four is damage. a solid hit. I am being flanked. Mm -hmm. That's not a crit, but it is a hit. Yeah, whatever. Fine. 13 damage if they can take precision damage. They can. Um, you slice out at the thing. It looks badly hurt, but it is still up. Um, Wait, uh, I have... I'll raise my buckler as my final action, just in case this guy tries to do something. All right. Uh, that is the end of Rourke's turn. Elana. I look at it with my bare eyes and take another bite out of it. <laughs> When a, I shark rolled, jaws. I roll you? a hero point because I missed. Well, that's that's the wrong roll. <laughs> oh, those are shark jaws. Whoopsie. Never mind. <laughs> oh, but, but can you be a bear with a shark mouth? No. Oh. That's better. <laughs> My jaws definitely hit, but did very little damage. Uh, but they did indeed crit. Uh, so that is going to do eight points of damage, or do you have the bar bonus in there? You do. Okay. Uh, Ten points of damage for bar bonus. Um, you take a huge bite out of this thing. Uh, you know, uh, when a bear looks at a thing, it's 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 like you or I looking at the refrigerator. It doesn't have malice. It just no, consumes. No. All right. Uh, well, you still have one action. Oh, does the shark jaws count as an action? No, because that that's not the right roll. I don't even think that's. So do I have two actions? Because. Yeah, you're good. You just you, you yeah. instead of your shark, you did your bear. Yeah, yeah, so you're good. So you, right, still have, so, uh, you still have one. Okay. 18. Uh, an 18 is going to hit because I'm flanked, so I will take another uh, seven points of damage. Uh, you take another uh, chunk out of this thing. It is still up, but it just keeps whining pathetically every time you hit it. It is still standing. Uh, the Do I get to take a third bite? Or does the shark jaws count? No, we, uh, star shells do not count. You're good. You can yeah, they do that. not. Yeah. Do you have to sustain the form? I don't think you do. I don't. All right. One more bite. Sure. Bear jaws three. Oh, 16. 16 is going to come up just short, I'm afraid. Ugh. Bard bonus. Nah, 17. Still not enough. Oh. Uh, actually, you know what? 
Uh, that should be it. That is actually enough. All right. Uh, so uh, you reach out and take another bite out of this thing. And as you do so, it pops. I turn oh. and look at the priestess. Well. Uh, With bare oh. eyes. Hold on. Uh, oh, hey, Shenzhen, you're out of range for this one. Oh, <gasps> glorious. Uh, the blast of filth and acid that washes out from this thing. I need everyone except for Shenzhen to make another reflex save. Oh, Lauren got a 15 because I rolled a two. Hmm. It was a fortitude save last time. Yeah. Was it? Yeah, I just scrolled back up. Is it? Which, yeah, you no, you're right. It is a fortitude time. save. Yeah. Sorry about that. All right, oh, far I... too wrong. Whoop. I got a 21 then. No, that's much better. Oh, oh no, 13. No, nope. You nope, got I'm... the two. I'm going to hero point that. I got 31. An... Yeah. I got an 18. Uh, all right. Uh, so uh, anybody who got less than 19 uh, is going to take five points of damage. Uh, if you got more than 19, you take nothing. Team not sickened ahead. anymore. Yes. Yeah. Roll for the poor kobold. Well, I think oh, you're no. still sickened from the previous time. Oh, no, so. I know. I'm not oh. sickened anymore. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, any additionally. Yeah. yeah. The right, kobold a... collapses. No. Oh. Uh, I'm not removing it so that you know where he is, but he has collapsed to the ground. Um... That blast of acid and flesh did him in. Um, so uh, we move on to, let's see, the drow uh, cultist she's going to go. She's going to sustain uh, and pull the spiritual weapon back to here, where it's going to attack Shenson. <gasps> Cheating. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Pathetic. All right. Uh, and then with her other two actions, uh, she is going to cast a... Uh, uh, she's going to do a level two harm on you. Um, Ew. So uh, she reaches out to touch you. Give me a fortitude save. Oh, right. Um, please hold. I am going to consult with the oracles and find <laughs> out how many uh, hero points they still have. You have one. Then I roll it. I use it. It's gone. Yeah, 18. Much better. An 18 is enough. So you will take oh. half damage. Um, All right, 17 because of I'm sickened. Oh, man. That's nah, still enough. Uh, okay. So, yeah, you take half damage. So uh, that is only going to be four points of damage, unfortunately. All right. Uh, that is the end of the priestess's turn. Lorn. At its time, I sustain. And yep. I'm going to shoot the priestess with telekinetic projectiles. So, boom, 29. Lorne, you said it's time, and I, I just saw that ghoul blowing up right in my face. 29. Oof. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, uh, that is not a crit, but just barely. Um, how much damage are you doing with that 16? Yep, 16 points of slashing, piercing, and or blunt damage. Doesn't really matter, so... Um, so, uh, you, uh, throw this telekinetic projectile at the priestess, and you just blow her right off her feet. Um, <clears throat> she, she gets slammed back into the crystal stones behind her and slumps down in a pool of her own growing blood. Her spiritual weapon winks out of existence. Um, so, uh, the priestess is down, the, the grotlets are down, the drow are down. Um, you do not see any more combatants. There is the kobold, uh, who is lying, uh, in the cage. You're not sure if uh, that kobold is alive or dead. Can I stabilize? Uh, yeah, you can go over and stabilize the kobold. You quickly come to realize that, uh, the kobold is, uh, is, uh, dying, but not dead. Um, as are the drow, for that matter. Um, Although I think one of them's probably died by now. Um, eh, whatever. Because the acid blast hit them as well. So Wait. the two that fell down before the acids hit are probably gone. 
All right, um, wait. Sorry. Let's so, see. yeah. My my heel has a range of thirty feet. Uh, just gonna barely get everybody. Yeah, you'll you'll miss her. She kind of got blown back. Marvelous. I'm gonna lift up my staff and give everybody a three action with the healy staff. All right. Hey. So everybody gets back eight. Yeah, my healing staff can only do level ones, right? Uh, yes. Correct. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna sick up my sickness. <laughs> we were seven. Ah, no problem. You get rid of it. Lame. Right. <laughs> and <laughs> then, just in case, since nobody was there to hold my hair back, <laughs> a couple pressed digitations. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. So uh, there's a handful of things that uh, you can you can do and investigate here. Uh, but the one thing you notice almost immediately is that hanging from the priestess's neck is what looks to be like an old iron chain. And on that iron chain is this kind of immense key. Um, and uh, as you approach and kind of take take stock of the situation, you notice that uh, on one side of this, this flesh pit, they were dumping kobolds into the pit. And on the other side, there are these large buckets filled with like bubbling, oozing flesh uh, that has been stripped from these poor creatures and is apparently being collected for some foul purpose. Um, you're not entirely sure what. Don't uh, tell me it's going to the cloakers. But as you uh, take a look at this key, you can't help but look at the large looming doors that are just to the north of you and think that they must somehow be related. And that is where we are going to end today's game. I want to thank you all for watching uh, our, our little uh, Band of Bravo stream here. It has been a blast as always. Uh, before we get going here for the day, uh, I want to make sure I toss it around. We will be back uh, next Friday at 2 p.m. Uh, Pacific time here on the official Paisal Twitch channel. Um, but before we go, I want to toss it around the horn and let everybody tell you where you can find out more about them and what they do on these internets. James. Hi, uh, James Jacobs, creative director for Pathfinder. Uh, you can ask me whatever questions you want over on the Paizo forums. Hey guys, I'm Marissa Marie. I'm Paizo's web content manager, and you can find me on the forums and all the social media at Marissa Marie, M-A-R-Y-S-S-A-M-A-R-I. Also, you guys got Tweed Russell up very quickly. I applaud you. <laughs> Yay, Tweed Russell. Tweed Russell was was marvelous. It's true. Yeah. Hi, folks. I'm Jason Keeley, Starfinder developer. You can find me on a Twitter at Herzwesten, H-E-R-Z-W-E-S-T-E-N. And I am Peyton Smith. I am the social media producer here at Paizo. You can find everything called Zorn the Bear on the internet and just Google it up and you'll find everything. And thank you, everyone, for playing here. And thank you, Mr. Bowman, for running another great session. Thank you, and I want to thank the folks from uh, the Band of Badgers who decided to raid us literally in the last minute of the stream. Uh, I, they if folks know, want to find out more them. about, yeah, no, I still appreciate it. It's just timing. <laughs> um, thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, I am Jason Bullman. You can find me on all of the various social media platforms: Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube at backslash Jason Bullman. That's J A S O N B U L M A H N. I want to thank you all for watching. If you want to see more Pathfinder fun, uh, I also am streaming a, a monster fighting tournament on Saturdays right now, but that's over on my channel. Uh, you can uh, find that at twitch.tv backslash Jason Bullman or look for Maul, the Monster Arena Ultimate League. I think that's about all I got right now, everybody. We will see you back here next Friday at 2 p.m. for another exciting episode of the Band of Bravos. Thank you for watching, everyone. We really do enjoy uh, you hanging out with us. We will see you next time. Goodbye. So long. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.